I said we're live. Shalom. Shalom. Uh, first and foremost, I want to give all praises and glory and honor to Yahweh. Ba'ashem, Yahushai, Ba'ashem, Rukar, Kodash. Double honors. And this is a salutation to all you brothers, the sincere brothers, you know, who have come back to the walk of faith in these last days. You know? So, yeah, we don't have topic. I mean, but, you know, the way the word it is right now, you know, there's so many things are going on, you know, which are part of prophecy. You know? That's it. Now, so you see, there's a war and loom of war. Mm. You know, uh, with all these different events that are happening, all these are leading to what? To the end of this society. And That's the, it. You know, the society which is under the rule of East Kingdom, the so called white people, you know, Caucasian. That's it. That's uh, it. And and what? Well, so you can, um, uh, you touch on a few things that you can hold, uh, what, Matthew, the 24th chapter, where we can go into that. Also, what, Revelation 6. Right, and four. Right, because as the brother's going into, um, you know, th this is this is um, uh, uh, you know, we're coming into the end of this man's world, right? And it's gonna go out by violence, man, right? Because this is the man that has brought nothing but violence into the world, so it's only fitting that his world goes out by violence, right? Um, uh, and as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples uh, came unto him privately, saying, Tell us, when shall these things be, and what shall be the sign of thy coming? Yeah, and if I can stop you there, and, you know, we'll try to break these down as we read them, right? It, 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 when That's the spirit that the apostles were in, and that's the same spirit that we're supposed to be in, right? Not, not being complacent. Not, you know, not uh, 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 putting off the day of the Lord, right? But seeking the day of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, right? Because the apostles of old, they understood that the world that they were living in was wicked. And this world is even more wicked, okay? Yes. The world is the mindset of the people. Every, everywhere you go, it's all about rebelliousness, right? Mm. No, there's no exaltation of what? The heavenly father and his beloved son. That's it. You know? So this this one is what for uh for destruction, huh? Yeah. And the, so the, the new system can be what? Uh established, man. The larger system, man. The system which is gonna be governed by the the Israel, which we, which are the so called Negro Latino and North America to begin with our 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 Lord himself, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's it. Uh, as it goes on to say, and of the hand of the word, mm -hmm. uh, and the hour shall answer, and said unto the so, so like, before you carry on, right? Why why were the uh, apostles of old and, and and apostles of new and you know the 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 the, the, the prophets today, right? Why why was that so important that question, right? And I'm just going to um, get this real quick for you, what um you know about the signs of the end of the world, right? Uh, Second Ezra six and nine. For Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followed, right? So we look for Esau's, uh, the, the, the end of Esau's world, because we understand that at the end of Esau's world is the beginning of Jacob's world, right? And what does the scripture say? You know, uh, 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 wherein dwelleth righteousness, right? Yeah, I was pointing. Uh, this is and the, uh, I mean, starting from seven. Yeah. Uh, Uh, whereby the word that then was being overflowed with water perished by the heavens and the earth, which are now by the same word are uh, kept in store, reserved unto fire. Yeah, and if I can say right on that, it says, Where in the first world perished because of uh, with, with, with water, we believe that. Okay, we believe that now he's gone out and he's he's proven it with his science. Right, but the scriptures talk about blessed is he that believeth and, and, and hath not seen, right? But Esau was going to improve that with his science, but he'll still come out and bring out science falsely so called, as the scriptures say, right? But we uh, uh, believe that that happened such that we're like, okay, cool, if that happened, that we know that the, 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 the fire is definitely going to happen, okay? <laughs> uh, 
yeah the scripture says you know he taketh peace from the earth right and that's what our author says um what in isaiah that basically when he's he's he's, he's basically uh been destroyed it says uh, the whole earth is at rest okay All the heavens and the earth, which which are now by the same word, are kept in store, dissolved unto fire against the day of judgment and perdition of ungodly men. You know? mm -hmm. And the number one ungodly man is who? Is he's a idol. Mm -hmm. You know, it's through his, I mean, his philosophy, his, I mean, uh, his, his ideology and, the, and all this, I mean, uh, political view that he pushed around the world. Yeah. Oh, Bring back what evil, man. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Scripture says that he is as death, man, and he, he he forwards policies of death throughout the world, right? Such that now you got man, you got man, you think about it, you got children that commit suicide, man. <laughs> he wants to talk about how oh we're we're intelligent, bro. You you a hey, we we we're from we're from uh uh, uh you know so called Africa, right? We've seen poverty, we've seen hardship. Yeah, you never saw no little three-year-old, four-year-old committing suicide, man. Right, but in Esau's world, children commit suicide, man. But he wants to push this idea that he's so smart and he's so intelligent. You got children with cancer in this is in this man's world, man. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah to back you on that, there's a there's a famous boat race. That happens here in the UK, right on the Thames, right? Cambridge versus Oxford. And basically, one of the groups jumped into the water, man, and got E. e, e, e. coli out of the River Thames, man. Okay. Yeah, back in the, when you looked at Gad and Reuben, right, they were able to drink off the streams. They were able to just go up to the Aces water, man. And uh, that's it. That's it. Until the man of sin it, it, it came about. So, like, you got it, bro. That's why these children they, they can commit community. They 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 think of committing suicide, man. Yeah. You know, they have these thoughts of committing suicide, man. You know, because this environment that they live in is already been defiled, man. That's it. That's it. Hey, hey man, I remember I said it a couple of weeks ago. Um a couple of weeks ago we was at camp, right? There was a little either man, man. Little, 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 you know, crazy ass. Uh, 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 I'm trying to think of a, a cartoon character people would understand, but a little crazy ass, little Joffrey, right? Little, little King Joffrey, maybe what, four, five, five, six, seven, eight years old, and he was beating up his mom's man right over there by that bench, right? Hitting her, you know, if she's trying to hold him, and I was above back where we're from. What does the scripture say? Wait, the scripture says, honor thy father and thy mother, right? That's one, right? With two, right? Hey, spare the, spare the rod. And she was just taking the hits, man. You know, trying to hold him. Oh, like, bro, oh, the, uh, <laughs> in the Asian world, the other men would have come up and taken off their belts, man. <laughs> it's lucky, like it, say. That's it. That's it. Scotland, yeah. Spanking, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Pro proving to you what that they're not your children, right? In this world, okay. Esau's the one that has a, a, a that's why the post bring it out all the time the birth certificate, you know. That's right, brother. Party and they start from. Uh, a to say, an horse not broken becomes head strong, mm -hmm. and a child left to himself will be willful. Yeah, yeah, go, go into it. Yeah, that's all. If you can't control your child at the end of the day, that child gonna be what? Gonna become more stubborn yep. and bring what? 
destruction. It's, it's, it's <laughs> yeah. I mean, to you, to your, to your, I mean, the, the surrounding as well. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. And then, and then ultimately to themselves. Right. Yeah. Because what do they, what do they refer to it as? Um, the, I uh, forget the term, but you get the years in a child's life where they can be molded. Right. I forget the term that they use, but you get to a point where if a child's a bad breed, hey, they're a bad breed. You know, but that's why we had provisions in the law of 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 a, of a son that was a sluggard, right? He didn't want to do anything, right? We brought before the 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 um the judges, right? And he was supposed to, he was to be taken out, right? And was taken out in public. And the reason why these those punishments were done in public was so that others would see and fear, right? And no, this is this is the punishment for rebelliousness, uh uh uh, uh, uh you know uh, um uh, uh, uh against the laws of the Most High. Offer thy child, and he shall make thee afraid. Pray with him, and he will bring thee to heaviness. You know? and that's is 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 it's gonna take by I mean uh through a process I mean by I mean through a process of time, man. Mm -hmm. you know, or you give I mean rebirth to my child, you know you don't collect him for the long that he's doing. It's gonna come out yeah. like at the end. What being problem to you or being problem to the society? That's it. A, a Pookie and Ray Ray, right? That's what, and that's why you need a, a father in a household. And you look at the the statistics that Esau will bring out. You always got to take Esau's statistics with a grain of salt, right? But this 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 one lines up, right? Basically, when you got a, a, a child, uh, whether it's a man child or a woman child, right? If they grow up with their father, adjust their father, right? They come out better than if they had just grown up with their mother, man. Okay, because the, the 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 father's a, a natural disciplinarian. But right, there's certain things you just be like, no, nah, you're not doing that. Right? He'll come and he'll correct, no, nah, you're not doing that. Behave yourself. Right? Mom's like, oh, but he's just a little bit. It's like, nah, none of that. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. W which there's a place for that. When they're, when they oh, but when it comes to discipline. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Yeah. Almost as if the most high made a perfect design. <laughs> Uh, hey, to say, but beloved, be not ignorant of this one thing that one day is with the Lord as a thousand years, and a thousand years as one day. That's it. So, and and that's that's heavy, man. Um, because that means you know when people read Genesis, people want to want to talk bad about the scriptures and stuff like that, right? But they can't even understand the first page. Right? How can you how can you talk bad about something you can't even understand the first page of it? Right? Because when it's talking about days in Genesis, right, that's talking about thousand uh, a thousand years. Right? So it talks about the first thing, that's the first thousand year, right, etc. 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 But then also when you look at our Lord Yahweh Shai, right, people say, What this is the year 2024 AD, Anno Domini, right? The year of our Lord, right? That really means Yahweh Shai is it's only been two days in the heavens. Since uh, 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 what Yahweh Shah went through, man. See, Yahweh Shah is pissed and he's angry. Okay. That's it. That's why when he come, when he he make his second young mm -hmm. coming, like everyone is gonna be what afraid, man. They're That's it. Man. That's it. You know, people gonna be in anguish of spirit, man. Yeah. You know, because I mean, the way he's gonna come, man. first of all, he's gonna appear in the sky. You know, we say. Vehicles that the 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 technology cannot be compared with the That's technology it. of this world. Right? That's right. Huh? A scripture says, "Men's heart failing them for fear." Verse nine. Yeah. The Lord is not slack concerning His promise, as some men count slackness. But is long suffering to us, to us what not willing that any should perish, but all should come, should come to repentance. Mm -hmm. no? And that's the message we come with, man. It's about repentance. Mm -hmm. You need to first and foremost, because repentance is for you, man. Yeah, they're the elect, yeah. Well, you know, the elect, no? But the majority of our people, we understand they, yeah. they're gonna be with this. I mean, they're gonna love this word, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. 
Yeah. They, they're not going to take a chance to to what to to acknowledge their offense, man. Yeah. yeah. And and they're they they haven't got that key ingredient, which is faith, right? So when Esau comes down with that with that MOTB, right, the microchip, right, they then they yeah they may at first be like, no, I'm not going to take it, but guess what? Because they lack faith, when push comes to shove, right, they're going to take it, man. And and hey, what does it say? Th there's no remedy after that, man. You know, there's not, you know, as opposed to sauces, even if the Lord wanted to say, I can't save you, <laughs> you know. Basically, yeah. Mm -hmm. Whoa, well, you're on that. What does it say Um, in the, in the, in the physical all, in the law? Right, it says when you got a slave and he's you know and he needs to leave and he but he says I love my master I love my wife and my children roughly paraphrasing right then guess what then they'll put the all but I think if I remember correctly in that precept it says I love my master right then the, and, and then that was the thing that tied him to that master to stay with him but that's what that's what these Edom these uh, uh, Jakes are going to be doing when they take that MOTB they're going to be saying I love my master and I trust my master okay. That's it. Yeah, exactly. With the all in your ear, exactly. Yeah. That's it. That's it. As the Zoni say, but the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, and That's the garments. Shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also and the works that they are in shall be burned up. That's it. So let, let's go into some of those points, right? It speaks about uh, the, the day of the Lord is going to come as a thief, right? Is it going to be a thief unto us? No, I think is it, is it the next chapter along? It speaks about ye bowers are not in darkness, right? Because what, what, is, what does the scripture say? It says, um, uh, in a few places, watch and pray. Right, for you know not the end. So what? What was the reasoning to to uh, to watch? Right, and that's why you get individuals that fall out because they're not watching. They're not keeping an eye on everything that is happening in the world. They're just you know in Ladi Dala, right? Not understanding that the Mosai has a vendetta against this place. Okay, the Mosai has has, has really it's been written already that America's destroyed, and thus it must it, it's already done. <laughs> you know. Yeah. yeah. And that's it, man. Yeah. This word of Esau was already done away. Man. That's it. You know, it's only the process of time because everything has to be done in, in order. Yeah. This you know? guy who gives the green light, man. That green light, yeah. yeah. So when this guy uh, gives that green light, yeah, our shy is not, not going to transgress, man. It's going to come down here. Yeah. You know, to, to bring that hell, man. That's it. No? Yeah, because that, yeah, what, what, you, you know, Yahusha went through some stuff, man. Right, and then when you know, you know, he gave up the spirit is done. It was like that was that was that was the end of his suffering. And then guess what? It went to he went into the heavens, right? Revelation five. And then what did they say? It says, he, this is he who was worthy, right? This is he who was slain. Okay, so the next time Yahusha comes, what pursuing to Isaiah forty seven, says, "I'm not coming to meet you as a man." Right, he came as a man last time round, and 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 a, a man. They, they made our Lord go through some stuff, okay? But the Lord's going to come back this time around and he's going to, he's going to, he's going to uh, uh, come with punishment, man. Right? Upon, upon the wicked, but deliverance upon the elect. Only for the elect, those who, those of whom that have been producing from the beginning, man. That's it. Yeah? A majority of you people of the world are gonna suffer in the day of the Lord, as they say in the book of Isaiah, you know, these yeah. are future prophets, you know, written for for I mean, uh for these times, man. Uh it's the book of Isaiah chapter six and fifteen. They say what for behold, the Lord will come with fire mm -hmm. and with his chariots like a whirlwind. That's it. To lend his anger with fury and his rebuke with frames of fire. That's it. You know, so the Lord, when he comes, is not going to come to pray aloud, man. Mm -hmm. He's not going to come to to joke with people, man. 
You know, it's not going to come to show mercy as you Christian believe. Like he, when he comes, it's going to come to show mercy and forgive everyone, come to hug everyone. No, but most, uh, the Lord say, well, when he comes, it's going to come to bring death, man. That's it. And the majority of you people are going to die in that day. Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, and, and, and to back you on what you're saying, what does it say in, in what, Luke 12, right? You know, that uh, um, um, come to send fire on earth and what we're like, right? If it be already kindled. So uh, uh, as above always goes into that word, uh, 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 what basically uh, we're like, basically the Lord uh, is basically saying um, that he desires that there's already a fire burning. So what, by the time that Yahusha comes with the chariots, right, of, 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 of what the so-called white man calls these UFOs, Right, but the time that he's come, there's already gonna be hell on this earth, man. Right? Because that's what the Lord wants. Right? As the Bible says, as the Bible says, all these nations right now, we see around here people are, uh, are walking peaceful, you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You know? But it's gonna come the time. You would hear that, like, oh, it's silent, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, yeah. You know, go to the nearest bunker. Yeah. The place where the man found himself. Exactly. You know? But the majority of you people is going to be too late, man. Going to be too late. Yeah. Yeah, yeah those misses are too quick, man. <laughs> you know, the, the elder um, uh, uh, Ariola did that video a couple of weeks back, man. And it was going into how just the. um. You know, just how quick, right, these missiles are and how destructive they are, man, right? So it's going to be a very beautiful day when this when, when this happens. But, you know, that's just like the French, that was just like the inter intercontinental ballistic missiles. But what about the missiles and the subs, the, the, the submarine, let's say, is a, you know, a couple, you know, let's say 30, 40 miles off the coast of America or 50 or however, wherever these submarines are, because that's the thing, they don't know, <laughs> right? They're just there in the sea lurking. You know, actually, you know, like when you look at the map, they're not very far to each other. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's easy to make a lash of the peace of America in a minute, man. Yeah, and they are lash of the guy, what, hypersonic missiles, you know, yeah, all these kind of weapons they're gonna use. Yeah. In these last days, the, the weapon of mass destruction. Yeah. You know? And these are part of the part of the World War Three. Right? Yeah. And and, and, and it was the scriptures that say that uh, the Lord had opened his armory, right? So the Lord has basically come, because uh, uh, he at the end of the day, these are the most high nuclear missiles. <laughs> Isaiah fifty four and sixteen. I have created the Smith that blow up the coals in the fire. You know. Mm hmm. Yeah, because it's just it's, it's, it's gonna take a second, you know, for these uh, leaders of this different nation to press the buttons, man. Yeah, you know. Hey, hey. So you got. And I was gonna say, what what does it say in Ezekiel thirty eighth chapter that the Lord is gonna put an evil thought in their in their in their in their hearts, man, in their minds? Okay, All right, and then they're just gonna push that button, man. They're just gonna be like, look, man, it, 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 you know, it's time, you know. But then, you know, at the end of that, it's going to take just one hour to destroy America, which is beautiful. Spend all this time, right, building up that land of filth, that land of wickedness, and the Lord is going to do away with it in one hour. So, uh, Proverbs 21 and 1, the king's heart is in the hand of the Lord, are the levers of water, eternity to us, with us however he will. Mm -hmm. And so most is in control of these leaders, man. You know? Be I mean the American leaders, you know, the, the president, you know, the Russian president, you know, all these are in the hand of Mosai, man. That's it. You know, so when it comes to the time when Mosai want this nation to go to war, he's gonna war. Make them go to war, man. That's it. You now the angels gonna be here. Right now they are holding the wind, you know, in the four, the four winds, winds, yeah. yeah, yeah. And the wind Structure, yeah, which are those missiles, you know, and all these weapons that they have, man, you know, yeah, the laser weapons, you know, they were when it comes to the time when most I give a, uh, a decree, they're gonna walk, they're gonna unleash their 
They are weapons, man. That's they, it. They are, they are missiles, man. That's it. Because there is no such thing as free will, right? You know, I remember which quote is, uh, I'm, I'm a coffee shop guy that says, uh, you know, there's a coffee for me. You know, he fancies himself a philosopher, right? So he asks, you know, what about, you know, free will? You think we got free will? And, you know, I'm not going to speak, you know, presets with him, you know, but like, you know, I'm getting a coffee in it, right? But basically, I just told him, I was like, look, man, there was a day that my belly out of nowhere says, look, bro, you got to go. You got to go to the toilet. I was like, I, I don't have control over that. Right, the most I was just like, look, this is it's it's time for you to go do something right now, right? And this is the thing: people try to pretend like they got free will, but they can't even control their own uh, bowel movements, man. Right? What free will do you have? Now we read through the scriptures all, all uh, uh, in, in a number of places. Well, as you got Job, what uh, uh, was it, thirty and fifteen in a dream and a vision of the night, right? The Lord sealeth the instructions of men, right, to hide pride from man. But the day of the Lord will come as a zip in the night. In the week the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, mm -hmm. and the hermit shall melt with fervent heat, the earth also, and the works that they are in, are there in shall be burned. Yep. Everything that is standing, especially from the land of America, not even here in Europe as well, the England, you know, they're all gonna be Burned, man, destroyed, man. It's going to be burned, yeah. Yeah, all these luxury buildings, you know, you see this infrastructure, this infrastructure that ESO is boosting off, you know, it's all going to be done away. Mm -hmm. you know, Michelle Bilbo will throw it down. Yeah, it's going to be leveled. It's going to be leveled down. Now. Yeah, yeah. And, and America's going to be completely destroyed. Right? We, yeah, we can't, we can't say that enough. And we look forward to it. You get certain people, when they hear that, they get offended, man. Like, oh, America can't be destroyed. No, America has to be destroyed. How about that? It has to happen, right? Because once again, he, 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 um, yeah, man, just great wickedness. Even earlier on on the way here, I was watching something by uh, that by uh, Bill Mayhart, right? Who was basically, you know, making jokes, but he's basically was speaking about the, the you know, the the the, the P E D O's, you know, in Hollywood, man, right? And how how and and then the abuse of these child actors. And actresses, right? And then they're basically uh, uh, using that witchcraft system to destroy the rest of the world, right? And that's just one aspect of why America has to be destroyed. What does the scripture say uh, uh, about blood on uh, on land? Right? It says that uh, the blood defileth the land, right? And the land cannot be cleansed. So that 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 is a, a land, a nation built with blood, right? Whether it was in uh, uh, the northern kingdom or the southern kingdom, okay. So the Lord has a vendetta against that place. But then when you look at places like around Europe, right now Europe's not going to be completely destroyed, but certain places are going to be just are going to be hit. Okay, London's going to be hit, man. You just know it. <laughs> yeah. The Bible says, if you, I mean, yeah, push those kind of, I mean, yeah. behavior. Austria is going to bring destruction. Yeah, or oh, oh, turning to uh, 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 Second Peter 2, is it? You know, as an example, we just grab that real quick. And then also you've got, um, you can also grab, I'll grab the one in Second Ezra. Because um, well, what the scripture says, because, uh, if I'll just quote it in Second Ezra 15, right? For because of their pride, the cities shall be troubled, right? And then what do they call that event? They call it pride. Right, which hey, which the most high man, the most high's got a sense of humor. <laughs> he actually made them call it pride, man. Yeah, that's it. That's it. It's the only way you do. They weren't no HIV pride. They weren't no, you know, no, no, no heterosexual pride. No, they called it pride for that one a, a, a particular a, a group of people, man. Right, and then on top of that, and it show you that it was pride. Is that they used the, the the covenant that the Most High gave to man about I will never flood the earth again, right? Of all the all the other symbols they could have chosen, like for instance, you got um a, a lot of uh, 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 um causes will use like the ribbon, right? So you may have the pink ribbon, the red ribbon, whatever. No, they chose the rainbow, right? Showing you their pride against the Most High. But guess what? The Most High is going to have the last laugh. 
That's it. Yeah. Well, 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 that's what it says in Sirat that, that pride is. It says pride is when a, a, a base of man departed from his maker. Right? Basically, they ain't got that fear anymore of Yahabashim. They just do whatever the hell they want. Right? And who can you, you uh, 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 who's, the, who's the king of that? This Edomite, man. Right? That's why he pushes that doctrine. You, you only live once. Right? And all of that BS, man. Just do as, do as thou wilt. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, I mean uh, from the beginning, uh, yeah, they were, they were seen perfect, you know, and have, I mean, and, they, and good, but these people, because of their pride, they want to change, man, yeah. the creation, you know. Here, I mean, to the, to the point that now we are, we are in this time, you know, where they say is a what is a beacon of light, is mm. you know, the time where technology increase, where we 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 feel like people are gonna be more intelligent, but people are all more backward, man. Yeah. You know, they're pushing this agenda like children can change their agenda, you know, they they can mutilate themselves, you know. All this is wickedness, man. Yeah, yeah. Like I saw you have been a, uh, I don't know, the, the post in the it was post on the chat, like a, there's a man like he cut his load and everything. Oh man, oh, yeah, 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 I've seen that, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's man. He's holding his own. He falls, right? Oh, man. And then he was there on the side. There's another man. Yeah, 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 yeah. That shows how wicked this society has become, man. No? That's it. That's it. Uh, some uh, precepts on the comment board, if I may. Well, I'll just read them real quick and throw the uh, shalom to all, all the archim on the comment board. Um. Uh, so let's read some of these. Um, Jeremiah 50 and 25 says, The Lord, Yahweh, hath opened his armory and brought out weapons to vent his fury. Because the Lord is angry, man. Right? What does it say? The Lord is uh, angry with the wicked every day. He says, The terror that falls upon the Babylonians will be the work of the sovereign uh, 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 Yahweh of heaven's armies. Job 34, 21, For his eyes are upon the ways of man, and he seeth all uh, his goings. Revelations 18, 16, and 17 says, And saying, Alas, alas, that great city that was clothed in fine linen and purple and scarlet and decked with gold and precious stones and pearls for in one hour, right? And, you know, in certain places, the scriptures are literal. In certain places, the scriptures are figurative. No, that is a literal one hour, right? So the Lord is going to uh, 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 use these nuclear missiles to destroy America in one hour from east to west, right? From north to south. Gone in one hour. Yes, yeah, Satan too. Satan too. Yep. And then what with Satan too it says one of those nukes can destroy the land mass the size of Texas. One, 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 one nuclear weapon destroyed, which which goes to show you that the most size and control. It's like the Lord put the spirit in this man to make a weapon so destructive. Warheads, yeah. You know that's that, that's how it's able to to, to destroy such a large uh, a, a area because the the one missile right basically the when, when when you see the animation of how it works the multiple warheads basically split right and then they go basically will go to like different targets and then it basically creates like a, 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 a like loads of dots where effectively after you, you add them all together you've got a destroyed landmass man right. And let's not forget something. America's got something called Yellowstone, which they call a super volcano, man. They call it a super volcano. They, 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 you know, the, the science of oh, Yellowstone or oh, off. it will be like being in a new, uh, uh, which got a nuclear winter afterwards because they say it's going to uh, 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 release so much gases and so much ash into the air, right? It's going to cover, but the Lord is still going to use missiles to hit that place. So you like, uh, the cover, I mean, the darkness shall cover the earth. Yeah. Right? And the, the smoke and the, the, the oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Dust, you know? I know, I know the one you're you're, you're quoting, um, uh, Joel. Uh, the what what you said was uh, Isaiah sixty, though. But um, yeah, that's uh, it's true, right? It's true what the Bible is saying. You know, that this destruction is gonna is gonna you know a uh, 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 cover, right? It's gonna uh, unleash. Look, man, it's gonna be bad. <laughs> that that's why the elect have to be extracted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. At the end, when, when he mix all this, I mean, 
you know, the missile, the, 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 the oil, the fuel, the hazardous chemicals. It's going to be bad, bro. Oh. Yeah, yeah, the, 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 the um, what do you call this thing, man? The, 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 the woodland, right? The, the, what you got, the San Andreas Fault in the California side, right? But that's why it says in Habakkuk, the third chapter. What did you, what did you have a cook? Says, oh, Lord, was that angry at the rivers? Was that angry at the trees that now rolls on, you know, the, the, the chariots of you, it says, man? You know? It'll be terrible. Uh, okay, let me just grab this last one uh, real quick, just because bring us back on the point. Uh, well, no, near, near, near the point. It's Proverbs 8, 13. The fear of your how is to hate evil. Pride and arrogancy and the evil way and the forward uh, mouth do I hate. It's a pride, man. Yeah. It's a pride mindset. Yeah. Saying like he, we can't be who we are. Who we were, we were born to be, we can be different like gender. That's 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 proud, man. Yeah. yeah. yeah was there when he created everything in the beginning? He said yeah, everything is good. It's perfect. Yeah. But you now you can go on and change. You make yourself more shy, man. You know. That's it. Uh, yeah, and then because you you created that technology, man. It's even my man. Right, I remember they, I remember reading something one time, man. It, it, it shit scared me. I'm gonna be real, shit scared me. I just, let's excuse my French, but it said, um, that their technology is so good now, right, for basically making them, a, 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 you know, making a fake uh, a vagina that only a gynecologist, i.e., someone who is trained to look at vaginas every single day, that only a gynecologist can tell the difference. But people say this place doesn't need to be destroyed. Mass confusion, man. That's why America is not as bad, man. Yeah. 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 Hey, hey, there's a, there's a, um, a, a, a thing that made the song with the other thing, um, uh, Sam Smith by the name of Kim, Kim Petras. Kim, I think P E T R A S or something like that. Right. That, that's a dude. You boys at home, look, you know, look that up. That's a dude who was born a dude. But you look at it and you, you think that it's a, it's a broad, man. And then people want to, once again, people then want to be like, this place doesn't need to be destroyed. This place needs to go. That's it. That's it. Rather than that, that's it. That's it. And we understand darkness will lead to what? To destruction. Man. That's it. Yeah? yeah. And because the scripture says, once again, in second is 15, that wickedness has exceedingly polluted the whole earth. Right? That's why That's why this death and destruction is coming to this place, man. Right? Because it, here it is, you know, what the scripture says in, in Romans, the first chapter, right? It says um, that they understood that uh, uh, doing these things are wicked, but not only did they do them, they had pleasure in them that do them. Because you get people that are so-called, nah, I, you know, I don't swing that way. I'm not part of the, you know, that community, the happy people, but they should be okay. They should be able to do what they want. Well, you're part of the problem. Yeah. That's it. You're part of the problem, and you're going to be destroyed. That's right. Uh, uh, your hand joining, huh? Yeah. So if you be part of this society, of this system, you're gonna be destroyed as well, man. Yeah. That's why we learn the many the folks that did that say, well, we say it's about to unleash a many hell for I mean to the ungodly people, man. That's right. You know? Uh we understand the men who uh of the I mean the men who are trying to, to work, I mean to walk the walk of faith, you know, in this last day, they're not gonna be part of that destruction. They're not gonna be part of the second death, man. Yeah. You know, which is going to be by the way of fire. They're going to be derivative, man. You know? That's and it. they're going to be with the Lord, man. That's know? it. Uh, that's so, I mean, Second Peter 3 and 10. Uh, real quick, can we, um, could you quote, could we get uh, Peter's uh, 2? That's what I saw, bro. Second Peter 2 and 6. And turning the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah into ashes, condemned them with an overthrow 
making them an ex an example unto those unto those that after should live ungodly. That's it. Hey, you wanna you wanna break it down, man? Yeah. People in the, in the time of Sodom and Gomorrah, they were doing things that are abominable, man. Mm -hmm. Now one of them is what you see today. You know, uh, yeah. LGBT, uh LGBT community, man. Yeah. You know, LGBT com uh, uh what I mean say uh behavior, man. Yeah. You know, where men and men, you know, do that which is unsavory, man. That's it. You know, have pleasure with another man like he, they have pleasure yeah. with a woman. If I, and, and and that goes to show it's a heavy demon, man. It's a heavy demon. I remember I'll be I'll, uh when I used to go into the office all the time. Uh, which called my line manager, and that's that's, that's that because it, it, these these times this individual doesn't know where to put his his rod. Yeah, he's the manager over you, but you know that's hell. That's part of the hell, right? But like he basically, I would walk past, and then I would just look. I was like, bro, like you off, man. Like you, you know, you 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 know, you put your privy member in places where it shouldn't be going. You know, and it's like, bro, like this is what goes on. This when you think about what these men are doing, it's sick, man. Right, but it's not, but once again, it's proving you that it's demons. Okay. And the river just not next with the first conversation of the wicked. Yeah, and then we've got to touch on that, man. Right, because we're vexed with the conversations that we see. We're vexed when we look at these people and the, and the vile things that they do. We get vexed by those things, man. But you get, once again, you get people in this world right that will have a problem with us for having a problem with them or oh, you quoted it earlier on huh? you know they love darkness rather than light okay they will it also says in isaiah what five and twenty right that call a uh, woman to them that call evil good and good evil right because here it is they'll call us evil but what we're preaching is life okay that what what they want to preach what they want to propagate and uh, 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 push into the world is 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 is, is death man I mean, that, uh, that mindset doesn't bring life, man. Mm -hmm. You know, there's no creation like that. You know? No, unless maybe they go and they adopt a child and they want their... Yeah, their child's going to be through. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, you just look, you just look at them, you look like, you know, you, you, if you've ever seen uh, 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 two dudes and look, it's like, man, you look at that child like, yo, that child's going to be fucked. You know, because what what are the what are, what are those two dudes gonna teach you? Oh, you can just do what you want, okay? Rebelliousness, man. Which no, you can't do what you want. You can't do what you 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 haven't got control. Oh, it's my body. No, nah, none of that, man. Okay, we're bound by the laws, statutes, the commandments of Yahweh Hashem Yahshai, and because people uh, 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 because of transgression, right? That's why why the Lord is gonna come and destroy this place, take this man out of his rulership seat. Modern day Lotan and the modern day Lotan and the main men that who have come back to the work of faith, man. They they yes, they were left, man. You know, as the brother say, we are the only people in this planet of man are vexed with this, yeah. this abomination that we see yeah. around us. Man. Yeah, and, and that come out and 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 speak against it, man. Because you get people that ain't down with it, but they just accept it. You know, they they accept that this is the condition uh, of the world, but the Lord has given us an outlet. Where we can come out and condemn this place and condemn that wickedness, man. Yeah. It's death and, and mental illnesses, man. Demons. That's why at the end of the day, all these people, I mean, who change their their, their gender. Yeah. You know, they, they end up committing suicide. Yeah. No, because yeah. they, they, they change their work, their DNA. Yeah, yeah. Their the That's it. You know, so it affects their balance, you know, it affects yeah. their mindset. Yeah. You know? So in the process of time, they they they're gonna be heavy in mega what? In the in, in, in medicine as well. I mean, I'm gonna say what? I'm gonna say or oh, medicine all the they may involve themselves with drugs, you know. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day they kinda of, they, they don't take in more, they commit suicide. That's it. They, they've been mutilated like the 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 you know, I've seen some horrific images over the time where it's like you see like someone's arm, like the arm, but they basically cut the arm to, to, to graft into to, to make a quote rod, 
right? So they'll legit like take off bare arm, a bare skin and flesh off of someone's arm to formulate what's supposed to be a rod. It's never going to work. It doesn't use, uh, uh, it doesn't feel anything, right? Can get infected, right? You know, smells funky as hell, right? Man, Esau's got to go, man. Man of sin, man. Yeah. Yeah. It's the man of sin. You know, everything that Moshe have created from the beginning, he's trying to temper them. He wants to it. change, man. You know? That's yeah. it. So as goes on, he says, uh, for that righteous man dwelling among them in seeing and hearing begs his righteous soul from day to day with their unlawful deeds. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know? Yeah, and, and we are not saying like we are so we are perfect, we are so righteous, you know. But we are going with the righteousness of, of mm. the Lord, man. You no, know, our 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 righteousness is of the Lord, man. You no, know, we are trying to the best of our ability to live according, man. That's right. Like the people of this world, man, you yeah. know, who are willingly committing uh, things or deeds that are unlawful, man. Yeah. You know? Yeah, because these scriptures give you boundaries. Right, and that's the thing in this world, there are no boundaries. You just, you know, you try everything once, you know, in this world. You know, a chick may be like, yo, let, let me just, you know, put a finger up your bum. Right, a girl, like, I ain't into that. And then she'll, I just try it once. Oh, all right, cool, I'll try it. It's like, nah, bro, you, you, that, that's off. You know, no, re, 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 it's easy reason, that's because I remember was, I was at work one time and some chick was speaking, like, hey, you know, just, hey, hey, you can just try it once. I was looking at this bitch like, bitch, you crazy. We're in the office and you're speaking this madness. I was like, this bitch crazy. You know, that's it. That's it. That's it. And, and you got a lot of Jake out that are so-called hard men that put their legs up in their air for the woman to, to, to put their tongue in there. Hey, Kevin Samuels. Kevin Samuels was into that, man. He was basically talking about, oh, yeah, you know, you got to make sure you wet wipe afters because when she goes down on you, I was like, yo, this nigga, freak, you know, excuse my French, Arkeel. Right, but that's why the scripture says the whole head is sick, man. Right? The whole head is sick. Yeah, my mama, man. Like, yeah, I was like, yo, Kevin, you a freaky dude, man. <laughs> The Lord knows how to deliver the godly out of temptation and to resolve the unjust unto the day of judgment to, to be punished, man. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, man. So we come, I mean, we by the spirit of power of the Heavenly Father have come back to this walk of faith, you know, not because we were so perfect or righteous, no, but, but by the will of the Heavenly Father. That's man. it. That's it. By no. election. Good for us, man. Mm -hmm. you know, because at the end, we're not gonna be part of the destruction that Moses is about, is about to bring yep. on this earth. You know, we Lord, we will be of those men. We're gonna be what delivered, man. That's right. You know, that's right. Uh, yeah. If you go back to, uh, we can finish. Uh, um. Uh, 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 Peter's, or you can get Ephesians, the first chapter, it's speaking about election. Whichever you choose. Just go, 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 the flow. Uh, well, as well as you're getting that, let me read it. So Isaiah 26 and 21, it says, uh, For behold, uh, the Lord Jehovah cometh out of his place to punish the inhabitants of the earth for their iniquity. The earth also shall disclose her blood and shall no more cover her slain, right? So they, they, the Lord is coming to judge the iniquity that is in this world, man. Okay. Yeah. The book of Ephesians uh, 1 and, and 3, I mean, leads, Blessed be the power of and the Father of our Lord, Yahweh Shai Amashiach, who has blessed us with all spiritual blessing in every presses in Amashiach. According as he has chosen us in him before yeah. the foundation of the world. Yes, sir. If we be that men, well, we were chosen before the foundation of the earth, man. Okay. And and and, and when you look at it in um, uh, Genesis, the first chapter, right? That was Yahweh Shai, the angels, right? 
you know, that was making the earth and stuff. So as the Lord chose his elect way before, uh, 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 um, you know, this, uh, this, this earth was made, man, before the foundation of this earth, the Lord chose his elect men, right? Everyone has a role to play and that role is written. Okay. So that's why ultimately we don't get, you know, uh, uh, you know, uh, confounded when we see Jake's that can't get it. Cause we understand just like how the Lord has those, Chosen for salvation, the Lord has those that their lot is just to die. You know? The same people who are going to die in the side are the same people who reject the Lord, man, when he was on the earth, man, 2000 yeah. years ago, man. Yeah. And the same people who were in the wilderness, if you remember, you know, as it is written, you know, they are the ones who want to go back. I mean, they were crying or murmuring. Want to go back to Egypt, man? Yeah, you know. So they choose their fate, man, from the beginning. Yeah, you know? yeah. And they, and, and that's how Moshe is gonna do them, man. Yeah, he's gonna destroy them, you know, because they love this word. Yeah, you know. Well, 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 what did they, what did they say? Right, says, let his blood be upon us and our children. Right, so they put a curse on themselves, and once again, that known, they must die. And afterwards, when we finish Ephesians, in fact, if we can get um Second Ezra's eight. From like, five, uh, like maybe like fifty or forty, whatever. But we'll get we we'll get there in a second. But yeah, once we see finish up, he told you, soon as it's gonna get blitzed. <laughs> uh, uh, be, I mean, uh, uh, before I mean, according as he has chosen the us in him in who in Yahweh Shai you know, because it's not about us, man. You know, it's about the Lord. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's about Yahusha and Mashik. You know, you people of the world, they don't record in Jesus Christ, man. Mm -hmm. You know, and they, that, that I mean, you, you, you people of the world called Jesus Christ is a man of color, man. So, you know, and when he peace from the, I mean, when he come back, all you gonna understand what 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 we say, man. Yeah. You know? because for 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 so long, you've been portrayed portray him. As so-called white people, mm -hmm. you know, you've been portrayed even the Lord. I mean, the the Heavenly Father, you know, the angels. You've been putting them in your image, man. Yeah. You know, but you're gonna find out he is a dark, you know, he's a dark and 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 our so-called black man. Yeah. Right? And, and 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 Putin brought out the records, man, which was we were speaking on last week, right? You get certain people in Eastern Europe where that's normal to them, man. Like that, that's just in their church. Like, eh, you know, that's like, that's what it is. You know, but then these same people that say color don't matter wanted to have a fit when we saw the images that Putin brought out, man. Where, where I thought you said color don't matter. <laughs> and now, now you've seen the imagery. What, what, like, what, what now? And uh, Esau, and this is the thing, man. Esau and his lies, right? The, but yeah, and his hypocrisy, man. Esau and his lies, where he, like, for instance, in the um, uh, in the clip uh, earlier on, right, that was in the chat about Piers Morgan basically uh, uh, interviewing that guy from Iran and basically how they were speaking on e Piers was just speaking lies as if people are stupid and it's like bro that don't work no more that witchcraft don't work no more man okay we ain't you know the the, the truth is out there ain't nothing you can do to stop it that's it yeah Pardon, you know? That's why they've been coming with with all these other uh way way I mean uh uh way, I mean uh, this lies I mean say, yeah you know, to cover themselves. Yeah, and then he thinks people are stupid, no? Because what did he say? He said, Oh they they they're dark because it got dusty. <laughs> and it's just they're like, Okay, cool, so what about the what about the Afros then? <laughs> you know? It's the same thing with all of the relics in the British Museum. Where they ain't got no nose on them. I was like, ah, oh, they haven't got a nose because it fell. And it's like, okay, cool. But what about the ones that are engraved? I can you can see the engraved ones also are missing a nose. So how did how did they miss the? How did that you know uh, get lost? Esau's the devil, man. Right, and the world is starting to see it. Yeah, that's why we're happy you're doing what you're doing over there in the Gaza Strip, man, because it's it's, it's been it's allowed the world to see your wickedness. Right to see that now. Nah, well, in fact, real quick, if you could get me, um, uh, uh Jeremiah thirteen twenty three, real quick. Jeremiah 
But I can I can try and grab it. Yeah. And the Ethiopia changes skin of the leopard uh, in spots, then may he also do good that are accustomed to do evil. Mm -hmm. That's it. Right. So this Edomite can't change, man. And it's been beautiful, like watching everything happening over the last six months or so. Right. Because once again, the rest of the world is saying, is seeing that now. Nah, he, he is that same devil. Right, and it's been beautiful also because a lot of these Edomites that love to say, "Oh, if I was there during the time of I would have said something," but guess what? They ain't saying shit. In fact, they're down with it, man. Right? Yeah. Yeah, indiscriminately. From their own. Yeah. From their mean cool. You know? Yeah. The children have been dying less than night from these bombings, man. Yeah. No? Um, yeah. Slow, these are only, that's the Amalekite, it's the only group of people that can bomb hospitals and get away with it. He can bomb aid workers and get away with it. And that, that's what people were saying. When, when they bombed the first hospital and got away with it, that gave them carte blanche to do the rest of them. You know, where was vocab complaining about uh, the oh, you know, because the, they say they got some of the oldest churches uh, over there in 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 Palestine? Where was vocab and them man to to condemn the destruction of those churches? Because that's what ISIS were doing, right? They would go around destroying the relics and stuff like that, which is a war crime, if I'm not mistaken. You ain't supposed to be going around destroying relics. As, you know, Bowers can you know fact check that, right? Yeah, but when you look at the money trail, who funds the, you know, that that group anyway? <laughs> Once again, it's been proven, it's been proven that the Edomites are evil. Yeah. You know, they're not for real, man. They're fake. That's they, it. They, they, and they, they're never going to change. That's right. Uh, I believe you did. Can Ethiopia, this is Jeremiah 13 and 23, can Ethiopia, Ethiopian change his skin, or the leopard his spots, then may he also do good that are accustomed to do evil. No, so that this devil, this, this Edomite, from the beginning, he was created to be what? An adversary for the world, man. Yeah. And and that's why, sorry, sorry, so you got it. He was created to contrary to the world, man. You know, that's why we see what we see today, man. You know, we see this what what's happening around the world, man. You know, death and destruction. You know, people dying left and right. You know, because this Esau is the one who propagates this uh, avenue of death, man. Yeah. You know, like the the the, 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 the medical industry. You know, uh, it's also part of the what. Which also bring death to the people, man. Mm. Most of people who go to the hospital are the, 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 the one yeah. who died, you know? Yeah. You know? Uh, we see this, I mean, food that we eat. Yeah. It's all, all poisoned. Uh, poison. Yeah. It's, yeah. It's part of that death, man. Yeah. So this man, everywhere he go, he, he bring death, man. Yeah. That's it. That's it. So he, he is not going to be in any way good, man. He was yeah. designed that way. Yeah, he, he, yeah, that's his settings. Brother Bo Carbio always says that that phrase settings, and it's real, right? It's real. You get certain individuals that have their settings. You look at the example of um, I remember watching this thing. There was a, it was an orphan. Oh, what, what, what animal was this man? The one that likes to make to to stop dams. It's not a badger. It's a, it's, a, it's not a bee. It's a beaver. Is it a beaver? Right, and it, this this has never seen a dam. It has never seen. It was never around their parents or whatever. What All right, but yeah, when it when when it basically saw the thing, right, when it basically saw an opportunity to build a dam, it did right because that was in its settings. Right, and basically the point being that Esau has his settings. Right, when he sees a chance to do evil, <laughs> he's gonna do evil. Right, he ain't got any other way. That's that's that is that is his setting, man. Yeah, he can't help himself. You know? They take the sure. Uh the, the clip. 
kind of that, no? Mm-hmm. He go back to hell, yeah? No, he, he killed his brother, no? Yeah. That's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, one and the four, oh, according as he has chosen us in him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and without frame before before him in love, having predestined us unto the adoption of children by our share Masha himself, according to the good pleasure of his word, man. Right. You know why the majority of our people they are busy in the world in the world, man. Try to fulfill what the, the last of their fresh. Yeah. You know? And they, which is at the hand is to bring to bring the damnation and destruction. You know? So it's well, that's our king. It's a book of uh, Second Peter, uh, three and the uh, ten, uh, which leads, I mean, leads, but the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise. You know? And that great noise is going to be by the way of hope. Those nuclear missiles, man, mm-hmm. that's going to be unleashed in these last days, man. You know, you see this nation, they all, I mean, uh, this majority of this nation, you know, this so-called superpower, you know, of the world right now, Russia and America, China, you know, they all have a weapon of mass destruction, right? Whoa. Which are those ICBM missiles. They're going to use it in these last days to destroy each other, man. You know? Yeah. And that's not say the Lord, man. Okay. That's why the Lord I had this put the spirit in them scientists, well, which is uh, I forgot who was saying it, but was saying it's spirit, right? That after after World War Two, right, the Lord uh, had um uh, those Timonites, right? Those Germans had like half of them go to the states and half of them go to 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 to, to Russia, man. Okay, because they had that science, that, that understanding, like basically learn how to uh, put those, uh, uh, you know, to to build that weapon, man. Yeah. That's that's the that's the sort of blessing, the spirit. We always re- we always reference um Revelation six and four. Yep. The red horse. Man was always made to take peace from the earth and to kill one another. Look at the situation that has happened this week with the Israelis and um you know Iran, the Carmenians, man. You know the back and forth, and that's going to escalate into the third world's war because. You know, that's basically the um, the inception of it, you know. Those nations going back and forth, Israel especially, and Iran, they're the catalyst for World War Three, Because, you know, they're, they're, they're major players. They're backed by major players, man. Yeah. The superpowers of the earth, the BRIC nations are backing Iran. You know, mainly the Medes, which represents you, Russia, you know, Tsar Putin and all that. And then you got... um. No, NATO and America back in Israel, man. Oh. So those, that's going to be the catalyst for World War Three. Now, at the moment, there, you know, things are not, you know, things have gone a bit quiet. It has, hasn't over-escalated like everyone supposed, thought it was in the past couple of days because the retaliation that um, Israel did against Iran didn't go to plan, basically. They basically shut down um, um, their drone attacks and all that. You know, so Iran basically wasn't fussed. They didn't like the the, the yeah, they didn't, they didn't speech, man. He didn't he didn't mention it all like it was just it was just a slap on the wrist. Like a thing. Yeah. They didn't really hit anything. They were trying to attack their bases or something like that. Their nuclear bases and all that. But they didn't hit. You know, so but that situation is gonna over escalate, man, because in the scriptures it told you wars and rumors of wars. But people was all getting gassed, like saying, Yeah, World War Three tomorrow and all that, you know. But World War Three is not gonna take place until other prophecies come into play, man. Because this this is the prophecies of the Lord that have to play out. You know, and the main prophecy that we've got to play out right now is the mark of the beast, the Karagma, man. Jacob's trouble, civil war. Then World War Three is going to take place. 
not before, but after. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, this is a book of Second Ezra 4 and chapter 7. By measure as he measured the times, and by number as he numbered the times, and he does not move nor steal them until the said measure be fulfilled. Yeah, well, everything happens in the Lord's time. Yeah. You know, everyone, you know, everyone, scriptures don't do say haste in the day, though. So we want this thing to come and come quickly. And it is going to come quickly because, you know, since January 2024, the whole for year Jacob trouble, there's a lot of things that have happened on the mm. earth, man. You know, a lot of things that happen, a lot of calamities, collapses and stuff of that nature that's happened across the world, man. Just the other day, you had Dubai get flooded by a deluge, man. The Lord turned Dubai into... To, uh, to the waterworks, man. Yeah. The water park, man. <laughs> yeah, they, they love showing off their water park, innit? <laughs> yes, that, that's showing you. Dubai is the, the promised land, man. Yeah. Dubai is the promised land, man. The, promise, the, 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 the chosen people of the, uh, are, are the nation of Israel, man. Right. They, not Ishmael. It's Jacob and Eden, and that, that's the promised land. Like, it goes through Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. It didn't go through Isaac, Abraham, Isaac, and Ishmael, man. You know? Because Ishmael, he, he's a son of the, uh, you know, he's all, he's he's one of the sons from the Shem deep, line, the line man. of Shem. But he's not of the promise, man. He's the, he's the son of that, the bond woman, man. That's it. We're the son of the free woman, man, or Sarah, mm -hmm. you know. But Ishmael was the son of the bond woman, Hagar, man. Yeah. So, yeah, they're great multiple, they're, multi, they're great peoples. Yeah. I, mean, they are, I mean, they're multiplied and, you know, said there'll be 12 princes yeah. in the earth. But then the promise didn't go to them, man. That's why the Lord flooded the, that, that fucking Dubai with a deluge of water, man. Right. Turn all their shit on into waterworks, man. You know, because that's not the promised land, man. Everyone's gassed to go Dubai because they got skyscrapers and all that. Mm. And, uh, you know, five-star hotels and all that. That, that don't mean shit. That's not the promised land, man. Hey, someone, someone made the joke about uh, uh, basically... Uh, most I was just watching them basically shitting on people all the time, man. Yeah. It's like... <laughs> Money to fix Dubai now, man. Yep. Spend all your sheep money and all that, all that oil money, whatever you got in your reserves. Spend that money. You said it, it, it cost up to nearly a billion dollars in damages, man. So you got you got more to concentrate on in making Dubai look how it used to look before that deluge of water destroyed all your shit, man. Lord tore that land up, man. Just in 24 hours, he tore that shit up. But that's how quick the law can bring destruction, man. Yeah. That's why we just gotta wait for the Lord. The Lord's gonna bring everything in his time. See, every time you saw come past the you know, they always drop. Every time they come past the camp, they always drop. Okay. Okay. After you get that, get Isaiah 48 and 3. Then read Isaiah 4. Yeah. It's a book of uh, second Ezra, six and eighteen. And it said, Behold the days come. That I will begin to draw nigh, and to visit the, and to visit them, that dwell upon the earth. Then the Lord's visiting them right? mm -hmm. to see all these the, the destruction, all these different earthquakes in diverse places. Shall the world, man? No, the deluge, the waterworks, and all that. Isaiah twenty nine and six. Yeah, I'm holding that. Can I grab it? Yeah. Isaiah twenty nine and six. Thou shalt be visited of your hour of host with thunder and with earthquake. And great noise with storm and tempest and the flame of devouring fire. Yeah, thunderstorms, tempests, as well as a flood, you know. So the Lord obviously showing his hate for these other nations, man. And he's visiting the earth which he made because we're in a time of some serious judgment. And as I said, man, Dubai is not the promised land, man. Dubai is just a 
the land that Ishmael dwells in, man. But that's not the that's not the motherland. The motherland is the, the land of Jerusalem or the, the land of Israel, you know, over there in the Middle East, man. It's not Africa, it's not Dubai, it's not the UAE, you know, no matter how luxurious the shit looks here. Yeah. That's why the Lord flooded that place, man. And them, and them heathens are still going to be proud, mm -hmm. you know, because they, they got that oil money or whatever it is. But at the end of the day, all you nations are going into slavery, man. That's what you got to look forward to. Ishmael, Elam, Moab, Ammon, none of you nations have got next. You're all going into slavery, especially you saw Edom, man. Edomites are going into slavery, man, under the Israelite, the ones you hate the most. Say the finish from the left to other people, man. There you go, Daniel. You know, told you that, man, because yeah. the, 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 the statue, the gene that uh, was revealed to Daniel, it told you all the, all the heathen kingdoms upon the earth yeah. and their time on the earth, man. Who would come after the next one, so on and so yeah. forth, right? Which ended with, with what the rock destroying the whole the whole statue was Shia Shai yeah. to establish his kingdom, an sure. everlasting kingdom. It doesn't belong to you, heathen, man. That's it, yeah. man. You know, this world does not belong to the heathen, exactly that. This world was made for Israel's sakes, man. Right. And Yahweh Shai is the number one Israelite on the face of the earth. He's the king of king and lord of lords. So when he comes to reestablish his kingdom on the earth, he's going to set up his, his, his kingdom, man, with his people. And that doesn't include Esau, Edom, or all the, any of the other nations. They're going to be in servitude, man. Right. They're going to be perpetual slaves in the Lord's kingdom, man. That's right. This means that the age of is Huh? Just like you quote in Daniel 2, it says in the time of these kings, the Lord's going to set up another kingdom, man, mm -hmm. a greater kingdom. Because Esau, he's proud as hell. He thinks his kingdom's going to last forever, man. The inward thought is that their kingdom shall go on forever. That's why he's got all these plans for the future and all that. Well, the kingdom can't be established on wickedness, man. Yeah. That, that's, 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 that's the main thing. They won't that's last. The thing. They won't last. Yes. Yeah. You know, and that's the main thing, man, because every king that, that's ever been, yeah. right, has yeah. gone off the wickedness. What's the goal? Yeah. <laughs> Bro's like, I still got it. <laughs> and that's why they've all fallen. You know, even when Israel had their, had their land, right? Exactly. When their sins are going wicked, they lost it, man. They were taken away into captivity. And now you know, the Lord's got to you know, sort all these things out, man. And the Lord's going to establish his righteous kingdom upon the earth, the kingdom of heaven. Here yeah. upon earth, you know, where's order. That's what I mean. Uh, as, as you just mentioned, they, they were never given the, the word of, I mean, the word of most time. They were never given a covenant with most time, man. So they're not going to be in a, in a way that to, to be established, man. Habakkuk 2 and 12, Woe to him that buildeth the town with blood and establisheth a city by iniquity. So why, why do you think this place is going to be any different to those that came before it? You know, on the way here, well, earlier today, you know, when I was out, I see, you know, the fallout post on the side of the buses, right? Okay. They got the catchphrase, whatever you want to call it, on the thing, right? It says, the world should have a, a better ending. But why? This world's been brought up on wickedness, man. Mm -hmm. the, the end is the same. Because what happened in fallout? Nuclear dis destruction, right? That's what's going to happen to America, man, because of wickedness sake, man, for the witchcraft and, uh, you know, because the world favor behind the witchcraft and everything that's been done in it. You know, it's going to end that way. It has to. It's the end of every kingdom. Destruction. All the difference is there ain't going to be no fallout. Sorry. Yeah, nah. Anyone that's left in the shores of America, yeah, you're, basically, you're going to get buried alive, man, in them damn bunkers, man, wherever you're hiding. Yeah. That nuclear fallout, no one's going to be able to survive that. The Lord said, you shall escape. No one's going to be able to escape. The only one that's going to yeah. escape is the brethren the, of the whole four that's being beamed up into the chariots, man. That's the only way you're going to escape the nuclear destruction. Like, or you're, you're in the nuclear... 82 and come retain yeah. the earth. Yeah. Yeah. Or you're in the I don't know, I sit down in the article the other day when you saw saying these are the safe places on the earth, Switzerland and back, uh, different places on the right. earth, apart from the west, where there's basically going to be neutral zones for nuclear, nuclear fallout or whatever. But I, I, either way, whoever um, escapes the nuclear destruction, they're, they're going to be the first to go into slavery. And that starts with the wicked elite. There's nowhere, there's nowhere they can hide on the earth, man. They can run, but they can hide. But really, they're just basically preserving themselves exactly. for, for fucking slavery, man. Because yeah. that's exactly what's going to happen to them. Because that's part of the major prophecy, man. Amos uh, 9, verse 2. So don't... Right, verse 1 says, I saw the Lord stand upon the altar, and he said, Smite the lintel of the door, 
that the post may shake and cut them in the head, all of them, and I will slay the last of them with the sword. He that fleeth of them shall not flee away, and he that escapeth of them shall not be delivered. So the, these rich elite, they're going to be hiding in their bunkers. You know, they're going to be hiding in their little, their little mountain retreats, which your brother's going to read, or in the international space stations. But all they're doing is preserving themselves for slavery, man. The Lord said, he that fleeth will not fear for way. He that escape him. Because they're going to escape the nuclear missiles, but they're not going to escape the ultimate judgment, which is slavery. And it speaks about the wisdom of this world, because these guys that think, you know, these preppers and these doomsday preppers, and that, they yeah. think they're smart, right? They think they're able to, to avert some kind of judgment that's going to happen on, from the earth, right? That's foolishness, man. The most I is going to get everybody that needs to be got, man, no matter where you are on the planet. Yeah. You know? Because no you got the situation that happened the other day with the cyber attacks, they're saying over there in different states in America, they said four, but then I saw another sit down or video, they're saying it's up to 25 states that got hit with a cell phone outage basically yeah, okay. blackouts so there's no escape man when you you're so rich yeah, it don't matter <laughs> yeah. it don't matter it doesn't matter about all that stuff man the, the, the scripture said the rich and poor free and bond they're gonna have to you know endorse that new mot to the b system man so it doesn't matter if you're super rich or whatever you gotta you gotta entangle yourself with the um esau's new digital system yeah. by way of the corrupt man the mot to the b the rfid c hip if you want to be basically move around in society man if you don't, you're going to become, you know, an uh, enemy combatant. You're going to become off the grid. Which way? Oh, that's, that's the mindset the men of the Lord have. The Lord said to be pilgrims on the earth. Not attach ourselves to this to this world. And, um, you know, the love the love of this world. Because this world is going to be destroyed, man. The fashion of this world is going to pass away. So we're not, we're not supposed to have any, uh, you know, major entanglements to this world, man. But Esau, they're finished, man. Esau's had his time to rule. He's, he's, he's destroyed the earth. He's destroying the mindset of the people, and now it's his time to go into slavery, man. It's just you have to, you have to, you know. You've done the crime. Now you have to do the time. Okay, wait, man. Yeah, exactly. Wherever you sow, that that shall you reap. Mm -hmm. Verse two says, "Though they dig into hell, then shall my hand take them. Though they climb up to heaven, because you've got the space stations and that kind of stuff, yeah. too. Virgin Atlantic, not Atlantic, Galactic, yeah. Yeah. and all these things, thinking that you are on holiday." Space and whatever, the turbulence, right? So though they climb up to heaven, thence will I bring them down. Yep. Right? And though they hide themselves in the top of Carmel, I was some mountain retreats, you know, mountain escapes and all that, you know. They can build bunkers in there as well. But that's not gonna save them, man. All that's doing is preserving them for that when the angels come to you know gather up the slaves, man. To sh to show them to throw them shackles on their arms and feet. I will search and take them out thence, and though they be hid from my sight in the bottom of the sea, thence will I command the serpent, and he shall bite them. Even Esau, you know, American like they got files and seeing major chariots under waters and all that submerging under water, coming out of the water. So it, not, not only have you got Leviathan down there, you got angels down there too, and chariots, man, right. chilling, man. They even show you that in certain Hollywood movies, man. The angels coming, the chariots coming out of the water and all that, or even like War of the Worlds, it came from under the earth. Well, the deepest depths, man, Esau doesn't know. He yeah. don't know what's down there. He don't know what's down there. <laughs> he, think, he, he thinks he's the... the well, this is the thing. Man, man was made to be on the earth, to rule the earth, right? <laughs> he weren't made to rule the sea, man. It's like an Azure Zenith. You know, one of them. He's down there, ain't going to help you. Just because you, you think no one can see you down there. There's no one on the planet you can hide from the Lord, man. No way, man. You know? Yeah. So it's like in Jeremiah 23 and 23. That anywhere on this earth where you can hide and the Lord won't see you. How does the Lord see you through the angels, man? You know? So, and though they go into captivity before their enemies, thence will I command the sword, and it shall slay them. And I will set my eyes upon them for evil and not for good. So your time your time is time is coming for you, Edomites, and the other nations is evil and not for good. The word evil means a bad time. So don't expect anything better than other than you going into slavery, man. And ser oh, ser time. yeah, serving harsh rigor. Uh, hardcore slavery for a thousand years. That's what you deserve, man. And what's the, that's, that's what that rod of iron's all about, man. That's what the Yahweh Shai's got. They got the rod of iron to smash these humans up to pieces. Sure. And the Lord is sharing that, that authority, that power with, with, with his brethren, man. The elect. Sure. Yeah. You know? To rule with them with rigor, with harshness. Yeah. Not, not, for, not for pleasantness, you know? Sure. Yeah, slavery's going to be pleasant for us. Yeah. But it's not going to be so pleasant for you, the, the other sure. nation, man. It's going to be planet of the Jakes, man. Sure. It's a lot, but that's what it was for them. 
You know, that's what it, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you know. Yeah. This is why this is your heaven, man. Yeah. You know, because right now you're all the shit, you got, the, you know, you, you got everything under what you, you know, you got everything you want, man. But for Jake, this is hell. Yeah. It's been out hell for a long time, man. You know, but all that's going to be, be reversed, man. Well, you know. Psalm 2 and 1. Why did the heathen rage and the people imagine a vain thing? Oh, yeah, sorry, sorry. The kings of the earth set themselves yeah, sorry, 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 sorry. and the rulers take counsel um, together against the Lord Yahweh and against his anointed saying. So, um, like even in the land of Israel right now, like it's the one one of the mainstream topics in the in the news, but none of the people that are being um, highlighted or fighting over the land or actually belong there. It's actually the land of the of the people you see on the sand. It's the so called Negroes, Latinos, and Natives, man. But where the farthest removed in society's mind as to who the people, the Lord, the people of the Lord are, because they look at us as laughing, but pretty much the offscouring um, of the earth, man. And that's why the strangeness of our salvation is going to be such a grand thing when we get pursuing to wisdom of Solomon in the fifth chapter, because it's not even going to be just scoffers, it's also going to be all these humans that look at Jake and think that we're nothing but niggers and, and, and spicks. The truth's coming out, man. The truth's been out, but even other nations are starting to recognize. That's why Putin open the votes in Russia and all that, and you got the Russian dark dark hearts of Jake ruling in the, the, the dark ages, the Russian icons and all that, you know, and the Orthodox churches and stuff of that nature, the black popes, all those different uh, frescoes and, you know, paintings of Jake's ruling in Europe, throughout Europe, it's coming out, man, because the scripture says in Psalms 85 and 11 that the truth shall spring out of the earth, well, you know, so the truth is coming out and these devils, you know, can't hide it no more. Even got guys like Tucker Carlson going on Joe Rogan's program or podcast speaking about the chariots, man. And he's yeah. saying that they're spiritual phenomena. They're not just goblins or green little monsters. He's saying that they're basically supernatural beings, man. Yeah, I know, I know he's, he's yeah, he some of the the camp, like, he I know he's talking to him. You know? So he knows he's heard and he believes, man. He believes that. You know, he knows that he fucking green men. Yeah, it's all bullshit. He's done the research himself and he knows. That, and he said basically, don't, they don't come from another planet. And another time he said he, he was frightened of what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, 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 what these things? He's like, he's like, he's like, he's like, scared and worried. Yeah. He, wouldn't, he, wouldn't, he wouldn't say what he was at the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? So he, he knows. He said he found out some information that people were getting jacked up mm. by the chariots, man. It was either a guy missing or they end up dead, you know? Because, you know, the, those, those are supernatural forces, man. That's a power, that's, a, that's, a, that's way above Esau's pay grade right there. You know, yeah. it's not man made, it's, it's heavenly made, man. From Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Like, I mean, for some they're found in the book of Yahweh Shai. Exactly. All throughout the scriptures, man. Why? Because those chariots have been around since the beginning of the time, man. Yeah. The angels have been around since the beginning. And the ministers of fire, as I told you in Psalms 104 and 3, that they're ministers of fire, man. And they ride around in the, the clouds, which are called chariots, man. There's always been witness signs of these things in, in history. Thousands of years, you man. Because they, they even made, they made the, the thing. Joe Rogan said, oh, yeah, but are they, are they ours? Are they yeah. the US or the, are they Russia yeah, or whatever? He goes, yeah, but these things have been spotted from way beyond, yeah. beyond for now. You know? Joe Rogan is just a scoffer, man. He's just a, he just wanted them to see. He just doesn't want to believe. Yeah, he doesn't want to believe. Carson was just trying to like, convince him, but. You know, people got you know, you know, Jake's stiff head, stiff body. You know, Joe Rogan's a Jake anyway, but he's a stiff body. But he's gonna find out anyway the hard way, man. Maybe a chariot will appear before him with a laser beam and hit him with his damn his noggin, man. Oh, well. so, yeah. well, as I say, but they're all, they're all gonna see eventually. Yeah, oh, they, they're all gonna see. Revelation one and seven. You know, yeah, some some is uh, five five and one. Yeah. They're all gonna see, man. Yeah. Then they're gonna believe. <laughs> then they're gonna believe. believe as they say, right? Yeah, yeah, man. And then he also said that yeah, they're spiritual beings, and that you know, it's, he even quoted the scriptures. He said Ezekiel, the will within a will, and all that. And that that basically he's, he was saying that 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 dimension is just the dimension that we don't see, which we we know because we speak about it through the scriptures, man. It's called the, the fourth dimension, man, or the third heaven. It's all around us, man. It's all around us, and he says that's what's controlling this realm, the things that we don't see. So he's he's putting two and two together, but Joe Rogan's being stiff party because you know he's just being rebellious, man. But that's gonna that's gonna be your, to his detriment because you know he he's been telling he's been told what the truth is, you know. Revelations one and seven, behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him, 
So another word, another word for clouds is the chariots of Israel, man. So-called UFOs, man, or UAPs. They're known as the clouds, man. If you want to get Psalms 104, 104 and 3, read that guy. And every eye shall see him, and they also which passed him. And all kindreds of the earth shall will because of him, even so are man. So like the brother said, everyone's going to see the Lord, man. And how are they going to see the Lord? In the so-called UFOs, man. That's going to be the real independent state, man. ID4. You know, that's going to be the independent state for Jake. Because the Lord Yahweh Shai is an Israelite and he's coming to deliver his people from the four winds of the earth, starting with the elect. Matthew 24 and 40, man. 30. You know, and he's coming to destroy the other and inhabitants of the earth that starting with the other heathen nations and the two thirds man or she did it you always quote luke 12 and 49 yeah i've come to send fire on the earth and what will i have the fire be already kindled yeah. so the lord's coming to do to like bring that destruction but he's also coming to bring salvation for the elect of israel man um, yeah. as well like all the prophets have different accounts of the same story like Habakkuk spoke about when the Lord came, like his destruction was so fierce, like it was like the Lord was angry at the rivers and, and nature. Like Ezra was speaking about the in Second Exodus 13, the, the chariot that he couldn't see the beginning or the end of. And then like he spoke about the multitude that came that was scared but went to fight, and then the peaceable multitude that came. Even in Ezekiel, Ezekiel spoke about the chariots taking all the, the in Ezekiel 36, the elect from the four corners and gathering them, and the Lord put in the clean heart. So all of the prophets spoke about the same occurrence, which is yeah. the Lord's coming to deliver the elect of the chariots and destroy the wicked with them, man. Even in the, the Apocrypha, man, in the book of Maccabees, it speaks about the chariots, man. You know, people thought they were seeing apparitions. It was the power of the Lord, man. You know, the, in the heavens. Go ahead. It's the book of Zechariah, Zechariah 5 and 1. So read Psalms 104, uh, 104, real quick. It's uh, Psalms 104 and 3. Who lays, I mean, who, who raise the beams of his chambers in the waters? Yeah. Who makes his, who makes the clouds his chariots? Makes the clouds his chariots, because that's how they cover themselves. You know, submerge themselves in the clouds. You know, like brother did a show the the, uh, the picture the other day of a chariot over his house, but it was enfolding in the cloud, where well, you could see the light shining from it in the middle. Man, you can see it was a actual chariot in, in, in you know. Um, uh, submerged in, within a cloud, you know, cloaking a cloaking device. Basically. It's like even now, right? It's really cloudy today, right? Yeah. You don't know. <laughs> you don't know if you're trying to sitting around, right there, in our face, observing, man. you know, doing whatever, man. You just wouldn't know. You would never see. Oh, man. So you know. So the Lord opens your eyes, like, mm -hmm. like He told Elisha's servant, open the, book, the, the yeah, servant's yeah. eyes so he can see. And He saw the uh, uh, armada of chariots and angels, man. The Lord opens our eyes now. We're going to see all kinds of that. Um, uh, creepy crawlies, man. We're yeah. gonna see all kinds of spirits, man. And this is why we have confidence, man. It's yeah. like just like in that same, that same, uh, in that same uh, story, yeah. we said that there are many, there are more, more of us than there are of them. Mm -hmm. We know we're not alone. We know we're not just, it's not just us. You know, team, that's it. They're on the winning team, and it's not, it's not, it's not carnal, it's not carnal, whatever, man. It's a spiritual warfare. We're on the winning team, man. And like the brother said, man. They that are with us are greater than them, them that are against us. He still has got his little armies and all that. But how many thousands and hundreds of thousands of angels has the Lord got in the heavens, man? Millions upon millions. It says that in the scriptures. But when the Lord comes, he's going to have like tens of thousands of angels coming with him. So how many chariots are they going to be around the four weeks of the earth? That's a lot of fucking chariots, man. They're going to cover the whole earth. They're going to be around everywhere. Exactly. And the Lord's going to be in the biggest one of them all. So, Finish on, finish on 104, uh, who lays the beams of his chambers in the in the waters? Uh, who makes the crowds his chariots? Yeah. Who walks upon the wings of the wind? Yeah, that's the angels. Right? Who makes his angels spirits his minister? Of... Are we like them? Who makes his angels spirits? Yeah. Is minister of flame and fire. Yeah, the angels are ministers of fire. That's exactly who's in those vehicles, man, the angels. So showing you right there, and in Psalm 16, it told you the same thing. Thousands upon thousands of angels, man, in them chariots, man. So this ain't no, this ain't no, um, this ain't old news, man. This is, this has been happening, man. And the Lord's going to rekindle that spirit of fear through the chariots and the angels showing themselves and, uh, you know, them different portals in the, in the earth being opened different dimensions like even right now they've got the 13 day 
pagan ritual cycle that they're, they're celebrating from starting from last night, April, April 19th to May 1st, 30 days of, of pagan festivities, and they're going to be sacrificing children. pagan worship but they're doing that on the left hand side but the law got the right hand side this is power more powerful than the left so that we're gonna win the law's gonna win in the end man yeah, it's all source from the heavenly father man left yeah. hand side right hand side it's all the, it's all the same yeah. but the left hand side ain't, ain't meant to prevail it's not meant to prevail man yeah so anyone who sided with that is only gonna lose in the end you know when the more one side shows his right hand his son <laughs> yeah. you know and the heavenly holes it's, it's over for everybody man all that blood that each one spilling all them child sacrifices that's all in that it's all in vain, man. Because it's all it's all vanity, because that's not gonna deliver them when all hell breaks loose. All the wizardry and all that witchcraft is not gonna deliver you when the Lord says it's time for you to go down, man. And he pulls the plug on your whole society, which has happened right before our eyes, yeah. man. What, what it says in Isaiah, stand now down enchantments, man. Yeah. No one can no one can be delivered. If the Lord hasn't sanctioned for you to be delivered, man, yeah. the Lord hasn't got that. If you've you got that spiritual mark, the Tawa, on your forehead in, that, in in these last days, man, the Lord keeping you from the that that ultimate judgment, the set perils. There's no escape for no one, man. Go ahead. Deuteronomy thirty-two thirty-nine. See now that I, even I, am He, and there is no God with me. I kill and I make alive. I wound and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. There you go, man. Because all these idols and deities that these other nations worship, it's basically just all wood and stone, man. They're dumb idols. The nation, the gods of the nations are all idols. It's the scriptures and Psalms, man. They don't have no true power. The only true power in the heavens and the earth is Yahweh Bar Hashem Yahweh Shai. It's just that these other nations haven't got the memo yet, man. So they do all these these these, these rituals and sacrifices to their deities and all that, the demon the demon worship. Basically, it's just worshipping of Satan anyway. That's who they worship it. But it's all going to be to none avail, man. It's all going to be short-lived. Because at the end of the day, Yahweh Hashem Yahushai controls both sides of the, the pendulum, man. He controls the left hand and the right hand side, man. So all you're doing is, you know, just being shown rebellion, basically. Yeah. So the Lord destroys you, man. But that's why Esau Edom is going to get the worst punishment of them all, man. Because he's a, he's a son he's a, he's a son of perdition, man. He's, he's he was born to be rebellious. He's just a natural rebellious spirit, man. From his forefather Cain, just rebellious as hell, man. That's why the Lord cursed him from the face of the earth. That's why whatever, whatever Esau does on the earth is against nature. It's, it's all destructive. He leaves a trail of destruction everywhere he goes. He's the harbinger of death, man. Because the Lord cursed him from his forefather Cain, for, for him murdering his brother in cold blood. Which was Abel, man, which is a representation of Jake today. Because what did Esau say to his father? When, when, um, or what, what did Esau say to himself when his, his father gave the blessings to Jacob and Esau, man? You know, when he, 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 after that, after his father passed, what he's going to yeah, kill yeah. Jacob. And Esau's been doing that, he's been on the tirade ever since, trying to kill Jacob, man, which is the 12 tribes, you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. What do you think the fucking. The H W H O and the C D C have been prepping in them labs, man, for uh, you know, you know, genetically modified uh, engineering uh, pathogens to use to kill Jake, because he's trying to kill Jacob, man. But he can't, can't kill all of us, because the Lord got his remnant first and foremost, and then second, he's, Jake is scattered around the four winds of the earth, when every seed on the face of the earth, man. So you can't get rid of Jake even if you try it, man. Uh, it's Amos 1 verse 11. It says, Thus saith the Lord, for three transgressions of Edom and for four, I will not turn away the punishment thereof, because he did pursue his brother with the sword, and did cast off all pity, and his anger did tear perpetually, and he kept his wrath forever. Yeah, any, every given opportunity, he saw had a chance to take Jake down, he would do it, man. Yeah. During the time of the Babylonians, he tried to take us down. During the time of the Persian and the Medes, you know, uh, you know, um, um, Agag, you know, try to take us down back then with Esther and all that, Mordecai. So any, any given opportunity, even when we came out of Egypt, man, he was the main nation that was fighting against us when we came out of the land of Egypt. Amalek, man, Esau, Edom. 
They were the main ones that was fighting against us, man. Trying to get stop us from getting to the promised land. So that they are number one enemy, man. Even in the script, I think it's in King David made, made mention of it. I think it's in the book of Numbers. And, uh, but he said that we have a perpetual, from generation to generation, he was going to hate Amalek, man. To you small hat rats, man. You know, the um, airstriking Iran and all that and failing. It's from Ezekiel 35, verse 2. Son of man, set thy face against Mount Seir and prophesy against it. And say unto it, Thus saith the Lord Power, Yahweh. Behold, O Mount Seir, I am against thee, and I will stretch out my hand against thee, and I will make thee most desolate. I will lay thy cities waste, and thou shalt be desolate, and thou shalt not, shall know that I am the Lord. Yeah, who's Mount Seir today? Mount Seir represents America, man. Babylon the Great, which is where the inhabita habitation of Esau Eden, man. The borders of wickedness. Wow, yeah, and the Lord said he's going to destroy your whole habitation, man. But thou hast had a perpetual hatred and has shed the blood of the children of Israel by the force of the sword in the time of their calamity. This is what the Most High is really angry about. Yeah. This is what he's really pissed off about. You've done a whole bunch of other shit too, but he's really focused on the apple of, of, the, of his eye, which is his, his children. Right, you're being punished for the crimes you've done to the Negro Spanish, Native Americans, and the, you know, the, all that descendants scattered abroad, man. You're being punished for that purpose, man. And plus, you're just vile. And the most side, he's had enough. We've all had enough, man. Yeah, and you're you continually know? doing it. As it says in the script, you further the affliction. Yep. You haven't let up on destroying the, 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 the Lord's chosen people, man. You're still trying Continue. to destroy us to this day. Yeah. Till the Lord comes, man. Till Shiloh comes to deliver us, basically, from yep. this modern day Egypt. Which represents America. Okay. Which, funny enough, all the children of Israel were um, enslaved in ancient Egypt, and the same modern day Egypt today in America, same 12, 12 tribes are enslaved in the same modern day yeah. Egypt again. Ships. Yeah, it was taken to Egypt in ships, which represents America. Hardcore bondage. You know, because we saw captivity, we weren't necessarily in hardcore bondage like we was in Egypt, man. With all the chains and the yokes of iron, all that kind of stuff, you know. Being whipped continuously to build, build shit, right? We 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 were subservient to a lot of people, a lot of other nations, man. But that happened again when we went to the Americas, man. Those chains came back on us, man, and we started building your shit again, building your America up. Yeah, you're saying? Yeah, come, come. Uh, Jeremiah fifty thirty three. Thus saith Yahweh of hosts: The children of Israel and the children of Judah were oppressed together, and all that took them captives held them fast. They refused. The Americas, man. Yeah. Because as a collective, that's where we are. All the tribes are over there, man. And of course, we've got brothers here in England. We're scattered, isn't it? You know, we're scattered in all these different places, right? But the bulk of us are in the Americas, man. That's where the truth came out of. That's where the truth sprung out of. And that's where the major deliverance is going to be as well. The second exodus, man. Yeah. Lord said he's going to retrieve Israel again a second time, you know? But that's going to be in modern-day Egypt, which is America. And and, and modern-day... And, um, you know, IUIC trying to say that, you know, Isaiah 19... Where it talks about that we're going to learn the five languages of Canaan. It's talking about the, why would we need to learn the five languages of Canaan in oh, ancient God. Egypt when we were already speaking Hebrew? That's what I could We already knew, knew who we was. We didn't use our uh, uh, lineage or you know discontinue from our heritage at that time. We we were already we was already birthed in that land, knowing we was the Hebrews, man. So that was talking about that's talking about another captivity, modern day Egypt, which is America. That's where we lost our uh, lineage. And we discontinue from our heritage, man. Yeah. So we're learning back our, our inheritance. So we lost everything. In our man. culture, yeah. We lost everything. Now we're just Negroes in America or, yeah. or wherever, you know? Yeah. That's all we know. But there's more to us, man. Yeah. And the most high, as, as like the Valley of Dry Bones, is, is giving, you know, clothing us again, putting, putting sinews and bringing yeah. us back, giving us life, yeah. breath, you know? The understanding yeah. of who we really are, man. And this is why this thing's it's blown up. Yeah. Oh, Revelation you know? 11 and 8, they're dead bodies. Land. 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 Great city, which is spiritually Sodom and Egypt. Yep. So that's showing you America is modern day Egypt, man. And it also you know, it channels all of the ancient um, witchcraft for all of the kingdoms before it. That's why it's called Sodom and, and, and modern day Sodom and Gomorrah, Mo uh, modern day Egypt, Egypt modern Babylon, Confucius, yeah. Assyria, you know, because it's, 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 it, it channels all of that wicked energy into one concentrated place. Exactly. Yep. Of course, Second Ezra 15 and 10. Behold, my people is led as a flock to the slaughter, 
I will not suffer them now to dwell in the land of Egypt. Yeah, I was even going to say, uh, and on top of that as well, why to show that Esau Eden continues to afflict us is that he will allow Jake to believe they're anything other than 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 Israelite. Like when the BLM lie came out, they were pushing that like, you had all of these major conglomerates like Nike and and, and 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 Adidas and all the financial services talking about yeah we support Black Lives Matter. Black people are important because it's, it's, it's a, like being black is the furthest thing they can be away from being who they truly are, which is the Israelite. A black person is a nobody. Yeah, it's a nobody. Yeah. And, it, and it's the same thing where the scripture speaks about um, that the name of Israel shall be made no more remembrance. They yeah. cut us off. Yeah. They want us to be nobody. They just want us to be slaves. That's all they want. Us to serve these kingdoms that we're in under Esau. That's all they want. They don't want you to take power back because that our name is a powerful name. He is the prince of the power. It's a powerful name, man. But they don't want us to have that, man, because that's the start of something beautiful. Yeah, <laughs> it's a sign, yeah. sign, sign great. And that means, yeah, we're something greater, greater than them. And that means we've got more divine rights to this earth than than, than you do. And that's why there's pushback, man. Yeah. As soon as we want to come out and declare who we are, it's pushback. Yeah. And you can you get all these fucking idiots like vocab trying to try to try to prove they're not the Israelites and shit. You know? Because they don't want to accept that. And I don't blame you, but it is, it's still the truth. Because, you know, at the end of the day, all that sperm and all that fighting that they're doing over there in the Middle East right now, they'll basically have to forfeit and give up that land. Yeah, if there was like really, really true, like, yeah. um, you know, in righteous, in righteous people, which they're not, they would have to forfeit that land in Israel and say, no, it belongs to the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. You Palestinians ain't even supposed to be in there, man. Neither you Edomites, man. You own the rights of that land. But Esau will never do that. Because he's the devil, man. Mm -hmm. And he does something called identity theft. Yeah. You know, he likes to take other people's heritage and claim it for himself, man. Mm -hmm. Take other people's history and whitewash it, man. That's what he's done throughout history. He's the greatest colonizer that this world's ever seen. Yeah. The nation of Esau, Edom, he saw for white. He did it in the time of the Greeks. He did it to Japheth, man. Mm -hmm. He did it to the Greeks. He did it to the Romans. They did it to every nation on the face of the earth. It's not a home, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Neither is he ever satisfied, man. He larger his desires out. Huh? Yeah. He can never have enough, and he's as deaf, man. And, you know, people right now, they're, they're bringing something to their, to their life, man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. huh? And it's oppression that they're going through there. Yeah, oppression, man. Well, the, the scripture said, Proverbs 29 and 2. When the wicked bear fool, the people mourn, man. Yeah. Everyone's mourning on the face of the earth because of this devil, man. Whether are economically, financially, whatever, man, monetarily and all that. Or just even morally, man. He saw us to force feed people with his fucking philosophies, man. Right. His strong wine, man. And if you don't want to drink it, drink of that wine, then he starts, you know, sending sanctions and all that, man. Yeah. Old person. Yeah. Last time, Dr. Alpha, like, you don't want to do any of these, like, you know. And so you're you're the bad guy. That's it. Yeah. Or, or or he'll try roofy you. You know, here is he got certain clean. He just put yeah, the the crawl form on you, man. It's like nah, you're gonna drink. <laughs> yeah. Being sent from the scriptures that when the true Israelites are in, in power, that it, there'll be peace upon the earth. Mm -hmm. With this man in the earth, in the earth, that this is the most unstable that whole region has ever been. He's in power to take peace from the earth. <laughs> so that's what he does. You know, he's yeah. a warmonger, man. That's why you got the dragons of Arabia, you know, showing their horns right now. They're going back and forth with Israel and all that. Yeah, Carminians and all that. And they said they're going to be in wrath, raging in wrath, the Carminians. That's why they striked uh, Israel, even though it didn't really hit. You know, the Iron Dome yeah. took them, took the, the, the airstrike down yeah. or whatever. But it's showing you that they're, they're not playing no more, man. Yeah. And that the, the, the talking's going to come to an end. And it's going to be fighting, man. Straight up, just straight up warfare going on. But this is the thing. That attack that Iran did was never meant to be a serious attack like that. Like that, um, I can't remember the professor that uh, Piers Morgan was speaking to recently. You know, he said, look, man, we, we got so much intelligence from from that. Yeah. How you respond and that you wasted a whole bunch of money shooting yeah, down some $20 drums. Yeah, literally, You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And so, like, I mean, it's, it's clever, isn't it? If that's the truth, and that's why they did it. It's clever, but it wasn't meant to be a serious attack like that. But that will come. Yeah. Scott Ritter said the same thing. Yeah, yeah, he did. Yeah. You know, every everyone's basically saying they spent billions repelling an attack that cost a few million. Like, like he was basically Scott Ritter was saying how it's unsustainable. You know, but that's what happened in Rome. That's one of the reasons Rome fell. Right, it was just burning through cash, and he got to a point where then, then, then the uh, the soldiers is just like, yo, where where my money at? Like. Yeah. 
Exactly, exactly. Only like how World War One started. There was a situation that spiraled out of control. And that's what's only going to end up happening anyway. Because as I said, you know, those those two nations, Israel, they, they, they're, they're going to be the main catalyst for World War III to spark off anyway. And Iran's one of the main proponents of that. Because they're being backed by Russia and Israel's being backed by America and NATO. Wasn't it, wasn't it, like, uh, was it World War One or two that, that someone got assassinated, didn't it? Yeah. Austria, Hungary, Hungary yeah. someone like that. Right, yeah, well, them and are killing generals now yeah, from yeah, Iran. Yeah. So anything could happen like that. Oh, anything could happen like that. That's why That's like all this week people were being panicking, thinking mm-hmm. World War Three was going to happen last night. Yeah. But it's not going to happen because pursuing to prophecy, there's other things that need to take place first. You know, then the angels, the four way, the angels around the four winds of the river Euphrates, oh, are going to be held, taken back. They're going to be let loose, mm-hmm. basically. Then World War Three will take place. But until the mark of the beast comes, they're let being sealed, so on and so forth. World War Three is not going to happen, man. But there are going to be more skirmishes and proxy wars and more attacks. Because at the end of the day, this is the end, man. And they can't turn the hand. They can't turn the turn the hand back. The hands of time, man. No one can turn back the hands of time. Hey, knows that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Can't. You know. So that World War Three is going to pop off sooner rather than later, but not yet. Lord, as I said, you know, by and by, as the Lord said, man. The beginning of sorrows, man. So, but we're de- we're basically at the door. Yeah. So who knows what's gonna happen next, man? The next couple of months, mm-hmm. whatever. But it's definitely gonna get more corrosive over there in the in the you know by the Red Sea. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, again, seven, eight, one, fifteen and ten. Behold, my people is led as a flock to the slaughter. I will not suffer them now to dwell in the land of Egypt. But wasn't the Egypt of America there? So the time the deliverance is coming. Yeah. 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 But I will bring them with a might hand and a stretched out arm and smite Egypt with plague as before. Yeah, so what is the stretch out army in protection? The Lord's going to guard his elect, man. Mighty hand, man. Yeah, with a mighty hand, which is who? Yahweh Shai. Yeah. Yahweh Shai sits yeah. on the right hand side of the Lord with the angels, man. Mm-hmm. So the Lord going to come and protect the elect. But everyone else outside of that circle, you know, they're, they're, they're basically uh, led to the slaughter. Cheeked with the slaughter. But the Lord said he's going to plague Egypt again as he did before, man. Then even this last week, I think there were certain pestilences that was released over there in America, man. And they're saying that this new coming... Oh, yeah, the avian flu, mm-hmm. the bird flu and all that. They're still saying that's spreading over there in America, man. Different states. Yeah, killing oh, all two, like, two million chickens and all that. Now they're saying certain birds and all that in um, you know, New York and all that are getting a, the, the, you know, the bird flu and all these different things. So the shit is spreading, man. You know, that's part of the pestilences, man. That's just one plague. There's other plagues that's gonna come as well. But remember, everything that happens in Egypt, all about it is never is, is destruction in the end. Because by the time Lord was did, you know, was done with the plagues, Egypt was finished. Yeah. Egypt was done. Like, well, how do we, how were they gonna recover, man? They got, they got fucked, man. You know, as well. Yeah, everything was gone. Like they, they were screwing. That's why they had to get rid of. They had to get rid of the Israelites, man. To get out, because what was gonna be left? Everybody was gonna die. Because the last one was the, 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 the firstborn. Yeah. If they didn't let them go, everyone was going to die, man. So it's like, you know, we can't do this no more. Go with it. But then, you know, the most I put hard in the Pharaoh's spirit again to go and chase after them, man, and destroy himself and his, and his armies, man. Yeah. That's what's going to happen to this place. The same thing. Yeah. Everything that's happening to this place is breaking this place down systematically, it's destroying it. Right. Until we go to that place where war, where confrontation comes, and the armies of the world and Esau's dominion is going to be destroyed, man. Yeah. And ultimately, the war in heaven. You know, Shai comes, the chariots, you, you, you devils are going to try and back, come back together and try and fight the Lord in the heavens. And he's going to blow you up to smithereens, man. Yeah. He's going <laughs> to get rid of all of you, man, all at once, man. And he's this just proves, man, the Lord ain't dealing on fucking humanity, man. Because if the Lord was with humanity, man, <laughs> you know, but he's not. That's why you're going to get fucked up. You're going to be the fire, man. Fire mm-hmm. going to come from heaven. They look for your meat. They destroy the whole land of America, man. Yeah, yeah. 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 With fervent heat, man. That fervent heat's going to come, man. You see what's going on in the world stage, man. The world, the the, the war, the war of um, on um, ICBM missiles, man. How they talk, we're going back and forth of who's got the strongest missiles and who's got the you know conventional weapons and so on and so forth. Yeah. That's what they're talking about on the news, man. They're, they're, you know, they're showboating basically. So those missiles are going to be used. They weren't made to be put in no, you know, no museum, man. Those missiles are made to be used. Yeah. 
the waste that was created to destroy it, man. And they're going to destroy America. And they will destroy all the land they own. Yeah. Who will talk America, man? Gone. Yeah. It's a big place, man. You know? Yeah. So there ain't going to be no fallout shelters, man. Like they got this big program Fallout, or they got that Tom Cruise movie, movie Oblivion, like the After Effects, the post apocalyptic. There ain't gonna be no post apocalypse, man. There's no post, there's no post, no post nothing, man. It's after, yeah, it's after the missile is safe. That's all it is. It's gonna be the beginning. Yeah. It's gonna be a post slavery. When he saw his exterminated, the thousand bay, you can do a post slavery or something like that. He saw gets burned up. Do a movie on that. All that post apocalyptic. That don't even make sense because there's not going to be nothing left in America once the missiles hit, man. No one's going to survive, man. And, that, and that's why this is a greater judgment than, than even what happened in Sodom and Gomorrah and the, and the, the neighboring cities there, man. Yeah. The land mass of America is massive. Massive. Massive, man. So densely populated. Yeah. I mean, not, not everywhere in America is densely populated, but America has a large population. <laughs> you know? And they're all going to perish, man. In, in, one, in one moment. Out of that whole number, you're going to get a small percentage of people that's going to be delivered that known as the Israelites, man. Yep. The elect of Israel. Yep. Out of that 350 million, or whoever that, how many million the Lord's going to deliver over there. That's a small number compared to all those people. That's a lot of bodies. That's a lot of fuel for the fire, man. Well, of course, no judgment. <laughs> that's a lot of fuel for the fire, man. That's why I said there's going to be a sacrifice in Israel. Since Esau was going to go around and sacrifice them every damn week. You know, stealing kids and sacrificing them. The Lord going to sacrifice that whole land. Now, part of the flood, that's probably like in one time, one moment in time, it's the yeah. largest killing the most size ever yeah. going to do on the planet. <laughs> you know, but that's just in one area, though. There's still the rest of the earth people going to get judged still. There's still more people to be taken out. Of course, we don't know the actual number. But even in the time of Noah, they have to be hunched, hunched. Yeah. And even um, the brother did a, a breakdown of it. And he was saying Adam basically lived yeah. Just before the the, the flood, you know, he lived up to the time of the yeah, Mecca, yeah, yeah. the Mecca and all that. So he got he to see his whole generation. Yeah, got, got tra- so he got to see his whole generation yeah, basically from, brain, from yeah. his line. Yeah. So he lived the long ass time, and Methuselah obviously he was the, lo- the longest to live. Was it nine hundred sixty nine or something like that? So, but he's got to see his whole lineage, man. You know, on the earth, he got to see all those wicked nations and generations come from the his line and all that all the way down to you know the mech and all these different things or or enough and all that as well so you know we're going to see the same thing man we're going to see all these generations of wicked same generation that was back in Yamashai's time 2000 years ago probably the same nation that was back in the time of Noah man that's it it's like 8 million people on the earth so how many millions of people are going to die then man that means millions of people are going to die not just millions you're going to get rid of a lot of people on this earth, man. <laughs> that day shall there be an altar to the Lord in the midst of the land of Egypt and a pillar at the border thereof to Yahweh. And it shall be for a sign and for a witness and to the Lord of hosts in the land of Egypt, for they shall cry unto the Lord because of oppression of, of, of oppressors, and he shall send them a savior and a great one, and he shall deliver them. This, this, this is all about Israel, man. It's all about the deliverance of Israel. Yahweh shall was sent to deliver his people, man, because they were being oppressed. That is the common theme in, in, in the scriptures, man. Over and over again, it's the same thing. Yahweh is the ultimate savior. See? That's why in the transfiguration you had Moses and Elijah there. But Yahweh Shai was there and the, and the Heavenly Father came and said, Behold, this is my son. You know, follow, follow ye him, basically. You know, and him is he well pleased. So Yahweh Shai is the ultimate savior. Yeah, we've had many saviors throughout the ages. You got the whole book of Judges and all that. But the real savior, the true savior of the nation of Israel, is in the name of Norman Omen. Yahweh Shai means he to deliver. The last great deliverance, man. Yeah, he's the savior. So he's the ultimate savior, man. And he's always been around. Even in the time of Moses in Egypt, he was there in the chariots, man. By a day in the, you yeah. know, the angel of death in Egypt. Angel of death became through. Yeah. Swept through yeah, the land, man. There, man. 
It was watching over the us, Grim man. Reaper, you know. The Lord came as the Grim Reaper, smoked up all them Hamites, man. So the Lord's always been around, man. He's the only begotten, the preeminent man, man. That's why he's the he's the he's the firstborn of every living creature, man. You know, and that's why he gets the promise and the glory. I just tell you back here in uh, Ezekiel 35, uh, verse 5 here, it says, Because thou hast this by Esau again, right? Because thou hast had a perpetual hatred and hast shed the blood of the children of Israel by the force of the sword in, its, in the time of their calamity, in the time that their iniquity had an end. Therefore, as I live, saith the Lord of power, Yahweh, I will prepare thee unto blood, and blood shall pursue thee. You don't think you've got no blood on your hands, man. You think you're innocent. You think you've moved on from, from them, day, them slavery days. You, you turned a corner. You're good now. No. You got so much blood, you it's unpayable. You can't you can't repent. You can't do shit about it. And the Most High is gonna take everything from you, man, yeah. as judgment, right? The blood shall pursue thee, as if thou has not hated blood. And even to this day, you don't hate blood, man. Yeah, let's be real. Yeah, you know, in the pudding, man. Yeah, look at what you're doing today. Yep. look what BB's doing over there in the Middle East today, man. Yeah, they're still, they still spilling blood. They don't give a fuck, man. Even though everyone's telling them now they're committing genocide, yeah. stop. They're still, they're still bragging and boasting on what they're doing. That shows you Esau's got no ounce of remorse, man. He's not fearful at all. He's just a harbinger of death. He was made to, to you know, to kill and destroy it, man. And you need Esau's on smoke, man. He's on smoke, man. He don't it. care. The most I've got that spirit in him right now, man. He's not giving a damn what anybody's telling him. Yeah. You know, America's saying, calm down, calm down. You know, he's like, fuck that. Yeah. <laughs> fuck that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get these fuckers, man. You that's know? Why, but that's why they're dragging people into this war. Yeah, the conversation, yeah, the army, that's what yeah. you can see as well why these other nations are going to end up destroying America, man, and, like, and Israel, because they're just going to keep doing, going over going over the mark, man. They're going to keep doing things out of order, yeah. man, over the threshold, man. Yeah. Now, everyone's just going to get fed up and say, look, man, we just need to band together and destroy America. Get rid of the problem, man. Everyone's going to come to the realization that America and Israel are the main fucking That's why there's no peace in the land, man. They're gonna shoot their missiles in America, man. They're gonna waste that land, man. Even America's allies. I told you that in the book of Job, their whole council shall throw them down. About so it says, that's what I make Mount Esau, Mount Esau, yeah. Mount Seir, most desolate. <laughs> and cut off from him that passed it out and him that returned it. And well, I was not talking about ancient Mount Seir because Mount Seir is still there to this day. Yeah. They call it Mount Petra and all that. You can still go through that it's land empty. to this day. Yeah. Ain't no one living there. It's just rocks. Really. It's just rocks. Is it? Is. Yeah. It's, it's a tourist. Yeah, America. that's it. They call it one of the seventh wonders of the world. Yeah. So that's what I'm talking about. America's not going to be no seventh wonder of the world. What the Lord done with that? Mm -hmm. man. America's just going to become a bit of a structure. No one's gonna want to go over there for no tourists. So, you that's know, it. might rat drive over there in a chariot. <laughs> Yeah. Was, uh, uh, President Trump's old house with the old habitation <laughs> that he might go to slave. Yeah. Yeah. Is that to be a monument to those that would also work in event? That's what that's what Sonoma Gamora was all about, you know. But this is going to be a greater monument. The whole earth is going to see us because there's going to be so much fucking fire and smoke coming out of the place, man. <laughs> what do you see at any point on the earth, man? Yeah, because they've got the pillar of salt yeah. representing um, um, lots of fire yeah. as a memorabilia of, you know, the destruction of Sodom and Gomorrah. So, yeah, yeah. there is going to be a memorabilia of that place, man. Right? Yeah. Not, not one that's going to be fondly thought of, man. Yeah. You know, it's not going to be esteemed. Oh, look at the great America. No, yeah. look at what happened to it because yeah. of all it's done. Isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> so, um, verse 8 and I will fill his mountains with his slain men in the hills and in thy valleys and on all thy rivers man so, so they fall that are slain with the sword I will make thee perpetual desolations again uh, Malachi Told you, man, they should build, but I should throw down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? They, 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 they're they not going to have a place. Because then they got a, they, well, they had, they had their, their land, Edom. Yeah. But it's not even belong to them no more. The Lord's taking it from them, and they ain't got a place on the earth. 
We're not gonna build again. We're not gonna build again. You're gonna say, "Oh, cut off the other man. You're gonna move you out of the earth by Isaiah 40 to 21. Yep. Everything you've done in the earth is gonna be destroyed. There's not gonna be no inheritance or no heritage of you of ruling this earth anymore, man. No power, no power structure, no nothing, man. And just like you did to us, you stole us from our land, and we we've been rooted out from our heritage as well. We don't have no land right now. We got we're we're in we're we're um we're on we're in um basically in in um in captivity in other lands, man. That's not that, that don't belong unto us because you stole our land, man. You know your claim inheritance is something that's not even yours. So we're gonna take your shit, like the Lord said to Amos, man. We're gonna take your lands too. We're gonna take the land of Eden, man, and we're gonna split that between the tribes, man. Well, we're gonna take what's promised to us, man. Yeah, as simple as that, man. And you forfeited your land, man. Yeah. You forfeited your right on the planet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're <laughs> blessing all of that. You're gone. Get out of here. Yeah, you know, man. Because you was really supposed to be, you know, the all brother to the king. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? You brother was really to the supposed kingdom. to be the princes of the tower, man. Yeah. Because you only had the blessing first before Jake supplied you. Man. You would've, you would've but the, yeah, yeah, you would have. You would have been totally fucked if that happened, man. That basically we would have been left with death. We wouldn't have survived, man. Because look what you've done now. With the blessing that you've been given by the Lord, man, just by the giving you the blessing of the sword, yeah. look at what you've done to the earth already, man. So imagine if you had the, the, the ultimate blessing of what Jacob received, being you know ultimate gods and all of these gods and all that. Yeah, we basically yeah, life would be extinct, but basically, if you was the gods of the earth and all that, yeah. you know, yeah. You, life, you know, life wouldn't exist. Yeah, you're, the, cool. so, you're too self-destructive, man. Yep. Yeah. Verse nine again. I will make thee perpetual desolations, and thy city shall not return. This is the last time you're ever going to rule on the earth, man. Oh, oh, oh. The last time, sure. right? Sure. And you shall know that I am the Lord, because thou hast said these two nations and these two countries shall be mine. You believe that we are your property, man. You believe the land of Israel is your property; it belongs to you. Mm. But we don't belong to you. The land don't belong to you. We belong to the Heavenly Father, man. Yeah. And we don't serve you. We're not here to serve you. Yeah. If anything, you're here to serve us. Yeah. Right? That's how it's supposed to be. That's what was promised to us. Yeah. You know? And that land of Israel doesn't belong to you. It don't belong to the Palestinians. It mm -hmm. don't belong to none of these Arabs and none of these guys out here, man. Yeah. That, belongs to, that belongs to us. It was given to us, man. Yeah. For our forefathers. It promised to us. That's it, right, so the Most High is going to give all those things back to us, man, and we're going to return to serve the Lord. Yeah. Okay, we're not going to be in, in captivity underneath these other these heathens, man. Yeah. We're going to serve the Lord with fear and trembling, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, yeah. that's yeah. how things are supposed to be, yeah. right? But you, 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 you've overstepped your mark, like the brother said. You've overstepped, man. You yeah. overstepped because you might have been able to fuck up these other nations. The Most High maybe not would have cared so much, right? But as soon as you took, took, you know, put your hands on us and, and you stole from us, <laughs> it's an issue now. Okay. So we go Jeremiah two and three. Israel was orinous unto the Lord, and the first fruits of his increase. All that devour him shall offend. Evil shall come upon them, say the Lord. They should offend. You should offend the Most High. The day you did that, the day you rolled upon us and and we doing all that madness, man, you offended the Heavenly Father, man. And you thought you could just do that and get away. Bro, you're, you're, you're mad. You're crazy. Right? And this is why you're going to get the, the biggest judgment that, that ever, been, ever been seen, yeah. ever been heard of. Yeah. yeah. And you know? on top of that, you blaspheme the Holy Spirit, yeah. painting the false image of the Heavenly Father and His Son, yeah. Yeah. a so called white people with leprosy. But to have leprosy is a skin, a skin disorder, it's a curse. Yeah. So, how can the Heavenly Father, which is perfect in the heavens, start have a curse, which is basically. Formed from having sin, and then Yahweh Shai being as painting him as a so called white man. When when the law was on the scene two thousand years ago, he didn't commit one sin, man. He didn't transgress the law once. So why would he have the curse of the plague of leprosy when that's a curse of sin? Yeah. Like Miriam, she sinned by speaking against her brother Moses, man. So that's why even Aaron was saying, "Put not this curse upon me. Lay not this sin upon uh, me, man." Yeah. So it's a, it, to have leprosy is not a blessing, man. So why would the heavenly Father and His Son and the angels? Look, have let the curse of leprosy when they're supposed to be perfect, man. It don't make yeah. no fucking sense. Yeah. But that's blasphemy of the Holy Spirit. So that's another reason why you got to pay for the the heresies and the the you know the uh, the lies that you've been spreading throughout the ages, man. Because all that whitewashing and the, and the iconoclasm of the Lord and the and the tabernacles of heaven, man. 
You got to pay for all that. That's idolatry, man. That's why you got Jake bowing their heads and knocking their heads against the wall every Sunday, running to the damn church to worship some praise some white Jesus. That's straight up idolatry worship. That's the worship of Baal. Because he's lovely. How, how, is, how is Mary and Joseph and, and you know the, the young Lord supposed to hide amongst the Hamites when they, you know when the Herod was out there trying yeah. to kill the children, man? How yeah. are they supposed to hide? They just stick it like a sore thumb, man. They went into Egypt. How are they supposed to hide amongst Hamites, which are naturally known as dark-skinned people, if they weren't dark-skinned themselves? But well, they went to flee into the land of Egypt. They hid amongst them, man. Yeah, how can Esau they, hide they against been, them? They would have stuck out. They would have stuck out, like Ptolemy and them. <laughs> with a pharaoh, you know, Ptolemy is yeah. in the church, but he's a, yeah. he's a pharaoh. And all that. I mean, you're a white man with a damn uh, <laughs> yeah, headrest on your damn head. What are you talking about, man? Or Cleopatra and all that. Yeah. Same white woman in the with a headrest on the head, you know, don't yeah. make no sense. Obviously, they hid amongst them because they were dark skinned people. Yeah. But Paul was mistaken for an Egyptian. Exactly. Well. Even in the scriptures in the area, Amos tells you that about the Ethiopians, how Jacob's lacking unto the Ethiopians. The Ethiopians are naturally dark skinned people, men of color, basically, people of color. So, what color was the Lord? What color was Joseph and Mary, man? Ethiopian means a black face, isn't it? That's what they say. I mean, Ethiopia. Ethiopia means yeah, black, black face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dark. Yeah. Dark means dark skin. Yeah, yeah. And then this is that's why it's all lies, man. You've been fed lies. Esau's nothing but lie because that's that's his, that's his lot. <laughs> that's to be to be the deceiver, to be the slander, to be the devil, man. You know, just a few more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. So yeah, because thou hast said these two nations and these two countries shall be mine, and we will possess it. Whereas the Lord was there to be our rulers, to be our masters, man. But you're not, <laughs> you ain't. So therefore, as I live, saith the Lord, power, Yahweh, I will even do according to thine anger and according to thine envy, which thou hast used out of thy hatred against them. And I will make myself known among them when I have judged you, you thee, right? And thou shalt know that I am the Lord and that I have heard all thy blasphemies, right? Which, which is talking about someone that's there. No? Which thou hast spoken against the mountain of Israel, or the mountains of Israel, saying, they are laid desolate, they are given us to consume. Again, we are not your possession. Yeah. We don't belong to you, man. Yeah. You, you, you was, we was never given to uh, given to you to consume us, yeah. right? Yeah. We were given to you to, to serve, you know, to be punished, so, but not to be destroyed, yeah. not to, to serve you indefinitely. Yeah. That's not why it was given to you, man. The Lord was teaching us a lesson, yeah. a hard one, but yeah, yeah, yeah. this is how the Lord went about it and used you to do it because you are dispensable. Because he knows whatever you was going to do to us, man, it's going to be over for you, man. So he used you to do it because the most I don't like you. <laughs> he hates you. Because yeah. he hates you, man. Right? So thus with your mouth, you're boasted against me. And uh, you think you're going to get away, hit it. You think, you know, well, you can't do that to the Lord's children, man. Any, any, any father, any, you think you can just go and lay your hands on someone's kids, man. They don't want to, they're going to come and do something. Yeah. Or they ain't going to want to come and do something. Yeah. Most yeah. has the power to do something, man. Yeah. And so, no doubt he will. You know? Yeah, it's just like when you was in school and you got the school bully and all that. But then when your big brother finds out, when he comes to visit, pick you up, you're going to find out what happened and then you're going to go bully the bully. Yeah, yeah, and that's yeah. what Yahweh Shai is coming to do. That's right. Yahweh Shai is our big brother, man. And he's coming to bully the bullies, man. Starting yeah. with you eating much, you soak with white people. Because you're proud, man. Yeah. You're bragging and boasting about your military and all that. And yeah, for, you know, funny enough, you got you got the you know most you know sophisticated militaries and you got the you got the power you got the, the manpower so to speak you got the weaponry damn sure got the ice you know the nuclear weaponry but that's not going to be enough man because the Lord got something that's greater than that the spiritual power something that's above your pay grade man that you can't deal with and you devils are you got the, you got the records you got the files on what the uh, seeing what the angels have been doing in this uh, you know how they move around and maneuver. The speeds and so on and so forth. It's out of your dimension, man. Out of your, out of your protocols, man. Yeah. You can't deal with that. So when your hour shy comes, how are you going to deal with him? The Lord said he's not going to meet thee as a man. He's going to come as a supernatural force, man. And we ain't going to be men like that either no more. Yeah. <laughs> not going to change us. Change. You know? And, and, and you don't need to talk about the ages. You already know. Yeah, you already know what they're they, You know they ain't like you already. <laughs> you know? So we're all we're super beings, man. Yeah. That don't... Like, like, you know, like how the chariots defy physics. We're going to defy all the parameters that, that man can do and what man are capable of, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know? And so these things don't mean nothing to us, man. Your weapons are nothing but 
yeah. fucking toothpicks and shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Like, Homo sapiens. Yeah, problems, yeah. Man. Yeah, that's yeah. it. it, it yeah. Ineffective. You know? It's not the one that set the limitations of man. And so at the end of the day, and, it, and it's also prophesied already what the law is going to do. It's already written. It needs to be enacted as well. Mm-hmm. You know, it shows that you have no chance, man. Yeah. Yeah. He says, that's me your mouth, you're boasting against me, and I've multiplied your words against me. I have heard them. <laughs> Most I don't miss nothing. Don't miss anything, man. Says, thus says the Lord Yahweh, that when the whole earth rejoiceth, I will make thee desolate. Mm. As thou didst rejoice at the inheritance of the house of Israel, because it was desolate, because the Lord you know, took us away into captivity under these different nations, man. He's always there in the midst, you know, trying to try and get something out of it, yeah. trying to persecute us on the way. You know, Most I never missed none of that. He saw it all, right? It says, um, so what I do unto thee, thou shalt be desolate, O Mount Seir, and and all I do me up, even all of it, and they should know that I am the Lord, Yahweh. Yeah, so that's talking about America, man. The Lord gonna decimate your whole land, and then he's gonna take you and break you down and put you into captivity, and then after a certain amount of time, you're gonna be exterminated, man. Yeah. You're gonna be made extinct, man. There ain't going to be no Edomites left on the earth. And no, they're not going to come back after a thousand years, IUIC, man. You've got to be out of your God, your, 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 your twisted slave ass minds, man. You think the Lord going to let Esau come back into power after a thousand years? When the Lord said he's going to reign eternally in the kingdom of heaven, man. An eternal kingdom that should be left, not left to another, like the brother quoted earlier. So how the hell is Esau going to come back into power when the kingdom of heaven is going to reign for eternity, man? That means there's no time, there's no time limit. And this is the thing, right? This scripture speaks about a new heaven and a new earth, right? A new age, a new yeah. rulership, a new, do, a new dominion. Yeah, new yeah. If, if, we, if, we, if we were somehow going to go down again, oh, I don't know how you're going to take that oh, angels and supermen, and I don't know how you're going to do all that shit. But even if it would, that's like, you might as well start the time period from after that time. But that's, it doesn't make any sense. We know, we know, the, it's hard to even talk about it because it doesn't make no fucking sense. You know what I mean? It's bullshit. It's absolute bullshit, man. There's no no way that Esau and any of these nations could do a damn thing after that Yahusha turns up, man. Yeah. It's done. It's finished. Like you know? said, we're going to be changed. So how are you going to take us down? We're going to be made into gods on the earth. We're going to be made immortal, meaning we can't die anyway. So how are you going to take us down? The enemies will make uh, Yahusha's uh, made his footstool. How are they going to raise up? <laughs> They've been given to him for an inheritance. Where's where's the rebellion? What's where's the, where's their power coming from? Most I going to give them power to do that? Why? We're yeah. perfect. There's no need for the yeah. wicked to rise up against us, man. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Like you did last week. So if we keep the law, like in Joshua one and eight and all that, that's when we're going to have what success. Yeah. So why are we going to be unsuccessful if we're going to be keeping the law perfect in our yeah. own kingdom, man? Right? We should we should not be afraid no more. We're not going to be afraid of the other nations, no right? How do you get that? It just don't make no sense, man. But... One man said to kill a thousand, like take a thousand men down. So how, even if you had a thousand men to come and try and take one Jake down, huh? you can't take him down because he's got spiritual power. You could just slaughter all of you like like Samson did with the Philistines, man. Right? We're gonna be even greater than all of that. So this is great. I mean, it's just uh-huh. yeah. In Malachi verse four, one one verse four. Whereas Eden say if we are impoverished, but we will return and build the desolate places. You know, like all of the, like. And this, this is what you've done. You've, you've done this. This is not something that's going to happen yeah. after the Lord tells you've done this now. So you've had this. This, this time has been done already. Go on. And uh, thus says the Lord Jehovah of hope. They shall build, but I will throw down. And they shall call them the border of wickedness. Which is what they are. Yeah. Because wherever they go, what they do is bring wickedness. That's why they, they, they all, the, all that wine, all that philosophy they, they take around the world, they corrupt the world. They're the border of wickedness, man. They spread wickedness throughout the whole earth. Yeah, and they, and you say, I mean, they built the, the society, man. How did they build the society by blood? blood. You know, and the as, as the law say, the the what they yeah, they, yeah Chris by blood, you know. That's right. Um, the border of wickedness, and the people against whom the Lord Jehovah have indignation forever. That's what I said Esau's not in the Lord's good books, not in not in any type of way. Right, so once Esau goes down, that's it for him. The Lord's not gonna, you know, have favor and, and give him back some sort of power to gain dominion again. Why? It doesn't. Yeah. Why? Why? That's the question. Why? Why would he do that? 
the push up here. Yeah. Um, the book is 26, and I'll start from verse 6. And I will give peace in the land, and you shall lie down, and none shall make you afraid. Right? So, why? Again, why? Because, because it's always why. If we're going to be at peace, how is the heathen going to do anything? Well, because if they tried it, then of course you wouldn't be at peace. Yeah. There'll be something we need have to do. There's going to be no war no more. We're not, they're not going to learn war no more. Yeah. All, the, all these scriptures you just conveniently forget. You they're know? not even be able to raise up arms. Bro, they, they ain't got no swords. That's true. <laughs> they've got plowshares, man. Exactly. <laughs> they're not going to be able to turn it through the hooks with the face. <laughs> None of that shit. That's it. it says, and I will rid the evil beast out of the land, neither shall the sword go through your land, and ye shall chase your enemies, right. and they shall fall before you by the sword. Yep. And five of you shall chase an hundred, and a hundred of you shall put 10,000 to flight. So even if they wanted to get a grab up an army and come and, you know, try to set up a queue, we'll slaughter all of them, man. One man. Yep. As it says here, five, a uh, hundred men could put 10,000 to flight. And the people are going to know this, man. After what it just it transpired with America and the angels, they're going to know that we're on a completely different level. Right? So what on earth is going to go through their minds to think that they're going to rise up and do anything? To get the cojones. No, it, it, to try and even think they could take take up arms and come up against yeah, us. Oh, the suicide squad, isn't it? Yeah, okay. <laughs> the suicide squad, they're rolling around. You know, so they come. Yeah, yeah, you know. You've got to be out of your mind to think you're going to be, come, be able to come up against the water and take us down, especially when we're going to be in our power. You're, you're going to be, that would be like insanity, right? Huh? You would be ridiculous. Huh? Oh, yeah. That just, that just, that just, well, it's like the leader in it, leader of the, of the, of yeah, the, of the IUIC is crazy, man. Yeah, that's it's slave ludicrous. mentality, man. You know, no, because you did a video the other day on Bigger's podcast talking about guys that sold out to the Rosicrucians and this, that, and the third. But you're one of them, man. You're a fucking hypocrite, man. He was there talking about, yeah, the House of David did this, these men took the bag and all that. But he was saying the only good thing he's saying that Marshall wasn't with it, and that's why they got rid of him eventually from the House of David. But you was part of getting rid of him, man. You didn't speak on that part. You told the Apostle Elder Taha what you wicked niggas did to but get rid of him. Yeah. yeah. But you didn't, you didn't say that, express that in the video with Bigger. You was talking about how these guys sold out to the Rosicrucians. Uh, the Comforter did this and he took the bag. But you took the bag, man. Because you started changing up the doctrine too. But he said, oh, they, 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 but one West, they had the 501c3 and all of that. So it doesn't mean that you, can, that you have to change up the doctrine. But you, it does, though. Because you have to, you know, abide by the laws of the government. So you do have to change up your doctrine. That's you what saying certain things. Yeah, that's what Tazza, you can't say. It. That's what Taza Doctor did, man. He changed up the whole doctrine, and man. All of a sudden, the name disappeared. Yeah, and that's the same thing Joe CC been doing. Well, bro, that guy Rakar, he's been bugged up from the beginning, man. Bubble eyes, he's been bugged up for a long ass time, man. Now he's wearing for pimp hats and suits and all that, singing on stage. Yeah, looking like a damn pimp, man. That guy's a demon, man. Looking like Nate Dog and all that, with the old bucket hats and all that. Go ahead. I was going to say what what Nate is doing is something called lying, but by, by omission, all right? Because yeah. he's yeah, because he's not like because he, he's leaving key bits of information out. He's lying, man. Are you saying? It, yeah. You're saying he's acting. You've been doing the same shit. But there's evidence. They say following the money trail, right? You got fucking bags. Yeah. You got bags. You got real bags, right? Us men have got shit. Let's be real. You know, yeah, we hope we that when we cancel up but that's all yeah. we don't have much, man. Let's be real. You that's why you call us bombs. bombs. You, you know, faith based so, so much so that we haven't even got jobs, apparently. That's how bad it is. It's so bad, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> apparently, we're like, we're the sixth worst group. But you're like a, the whole Israelite movement. We're yeah. the sixth worst group or something like yeah. that. Great but, but you're like a mega church, man. Exactly. Oh, yeah. it's, it's, it's pretty much are, isn't it? Yeah. So, well, I, and we know, we know how that works. <laughs> we know how that works, isn't it? Yeah. So, Who's who sold out? Who's really sold out? It's because the guy that you're interviewing, it's you don't know. Thing, it. Yeah, it's because the well, guy that was interviewing, you don't know the history. Know, yeah. So you're just there bra bragging and boasting, acting like you ain't one of those culprits, man, that have been, you know, going off throughout the ages and being refused for the spirit. Why you how about should be all shy for the elders and apostles of Great Moonstone, man? Like you ain't been gaying off. That's why you're changing up the doctrine every damn six time, months, man. Yes. Man, give to change, man. Uh, Proverbs 24 and verse 21. Sorry, Proverbs chapter 24, verse 21. 
My son, fear thou the Lord and the king, and meddle not with them that are given to change. Ain't nobody should be around this guy, man. No, no one. You're fucking around with a guy that just, he's making shit as goes along, man. He's got no integrity. Yeah. Right? He's got no honor. He's got no, no respect for this word, man. It's all about him. Yeah. And you can tell. <laughs> man worship. Yeah. It's no. all about him, the great. Because now he, his congregation thinks he's some fucking super duper prophet from, from, from time ago or some shit, man. Right. Like he's Elijah or something, man. Right. But he never started this. Oh, he wait. was a pupil. He was an understudy. He didn't start nothing. You know? So you can't be Elijah. So forget that talk, man. Elijah would have pushed the name. Elijah would have shunned the best the whole gospel. That's right. You you keep changing up the name. You keep changing up the doctrine. You know, you make make fun of the Hebrew. Elijah would have done that. (laughs) 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 To bring down fire, Nate. That's what you want to see next. Bring down fire. You You guys represent the prophets of Baal, man. Yeah. That's who you guys are the IUIC. It's plain, man. You see, the, 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 Matthew's 23, you're the same wicked ass scribes and Pharisees that said that the law was cursing out, man. Because yeah. you're all about the image and all that, the outward appearance, man. The born in the phylacteries, yeah. you know, riding the living the good life, riding on horses, mm-hmm. jogging through the crowd like you're an Olympian. Oh, it's yeah. all about self worship, man. Yeah. Glorifying yourself. Guys you ain't by, trying to glorify the Lord. Guys, by Jesus, man. Yeah, by Jesus. <laughs> yeah. By Jesus. And, yeah. all the, and all the people are amazed by it. Oh, 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 yeah, magic in all that, Yeah, man. yeah. But they're going to spell, man. These things are really man. You know, you know, and you know the, when them WWE wrestlers come in the ring. It's natural. It's like, what the fuck, man? Come on, man. This is like, is this what it's about? Is this what we're supposed to be doing? Yeah, yeah. it's a lower yeah. thing to see, man. It's like, why are you doing it, Nate? Like, you were a good teacher back in the day. Yeah, you know what I mean? I had kind of respect back then. You know, certain videos I watched, and I thought, no, it's good. It's a good, good breakdown. But now it's like, it's terrible, and everything's crazy now, man. And like the Lord said, like the apostle said that, you know, through the Spirit of the Lord, you lost the oil, man. You yeah. even said that yourself. You got the oil taken away from you. Yeah. Lost the and oil. And the, the thing is, you know how the most I works. Most I blinds people. So he can't even see what he, he reads. You know, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what he's seeing right now, but he's definitely blinded. Where we can see the dollar signs. Dollar, 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 dollar bills, y'all. That's all he's. Yeah. Oh. Jeremiah 23 and 1. Woe be unto the pastor that destroy and scatter the sheep of the of my pasture. Bring the disinformation, man. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. You know, usually he so you know, he will punish you for disinformation. He will block your videos and all of that. You know, that's what this guy is doing, though, man. And, and he's, he's, he's preying on on this congregation's ignorance, man, yeah. and their the unlearnedness. You know, they they laid away, they led away yeah. silly women and all that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Led in the way silly women. Mm-hmm. And in Romans sixteen and seven, he says that as well. The simple, you know, get led away basically. It's simple. Because when that time we were talking about the MOTB, you're talking about my dog can go buy some lamb and some stupidness, right? You, it's not hard to find out what the, the functions of RFIDs are and that kind of stuff. But you actually so ignorant of what, what that technology was that you made to be like a mockery. Yeah, and you sold that to, yeah, and you sold that to your congregation to throw them off, man. Yeah. Like it was just stupid what we was coming out with. Yeah, How is it stupid? Yeah. You know, beginning of that, it was impossible to break down that we come out with. Yeah. Why is it stupid? It makes total sense. Yeah. If you don't even if you didn't believe it, it's viable. It's a possibility because it, it can do the things that we speak about. And you're just making mockery of it, basically with conspiracy nuts. You just dis- you just disregarding it. Yeah, yeah. you know. You Which can't is- make mockery of it now, no more. No, 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 no. In Kenya, they they go to the whole fucking biometric system. In Kenya, they they make it like Bill Bill Gates, that snake Bill Gates, man, kill Gates. He's basically endorsing Kenya to be like uh, taking of the RFID. He said they're gonna chip the babies, man. Yeah, that's the new thing they're doing over there in Kenya, man. From the government. So what, what are you going to say now, man? What you got to say now? I mean, you know, they'll just shift up the doctrine a little bit. Because you know, that's what they'll do, mm-hmm. right? But there's going to come a point in time where you're not going to have to shift the doctrine any further, yeah. man. You're going to be yeah. stumped. You ain't going to know what the fuck to say. Because yeah. there's nothing you could say at that moment in time, man. When it's out here, when he saw jamming man up in the, in the arms and the, in the heads and stuff, yeah. right? You ain't going to say nothing. Yeah. You know, there's going to be a choice to make at that point in time. You either take it or you don't take it, man. And you got you got to choose, man. And your congregation's got to choose. And they're going to be asking you, what do we do? Yeah. 
He's gonna give him the he's gonna give them the right right answer this time. That's the question. Yeah. Because he gave him the wrong answer last time. Yeah. yeah. And it's not just him saying some of these other cats, man, that are flip flopping or not on the MLTV too, man. No, no, we're getting on Nate right now, but they're doing the same fucking thing, man. Do you know, because none of them, none of them are, are, are breaking down the MLTV correctly, man. None of them are. Other than Shikari, but even yeah, they yeah. go up from yeah. time to time. But as his brother saying, man, Malachi 3 and 18, then it shall be known who am I chosen, who, who serves the Lord and who serves the Lord. Right. Second end of 16, then it shall be known who am I chosen, man. Because at the end of the day, there's only one major group on the, on the scene that's been pushing that the Mark of the Beast is the RFID see hit. And everyone's going to know that it's GMS, man. Everyone's gonna to come to find out that Great Millstone are part of that, you know, that that line of chosen prophets, man. And you, you you're gonna to have to, you know, face the face the truth. And you're gonna to have to deal with Esau and whether you're gonna take the MOT to the B or not. And yeah. your congregation, they're gonna be scurrying like rats, man. Yeah. Not knowing what to do. Like loose chickens on a run, man. They're gonna be all over the place. But only the elect, like the Lord said, the only the elect are not gonna be deceived and taking that see it. If you have got a let brethren that's part of the IUIC and any other camps too, but they're gonna come out of that shit, man. Well, well, it's, it's funny, man. Like every time more information comes out about this technology or more that like, is introduced into the world, right? It's funny we don't need to change our doctrine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It fits. It, it continues fits. to fit. It, 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 it continues yeah. to fit. Yeah. You now have to keep changing your position all the damn time. Yeah. Yeah. You know. Because there's been absurd things back in the past that people have said. It's like, it's, it's, it's funny, right? It's funny to say now, but it was just stupid, right? But we don't need to change our position, man. Yeah. Every time something more like, new comes out, it just it, it, it continues to narrow. It's the same it's thing. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. It's all prevail. That's right. It's like when the C19, you know, when we, the apostles are saying, don't take it, don't matter if you lose your job, whatever, whatever, you, whatever Lord he's yeah. the Lord will provide, have faith. And that's how we will. We move in faith, man. You thought you make fun of us saying where faith is, Israelites. Well, that's so exactly be it, man. Exactly what it's supposed to be, man. Exactly. Exactly, yeah. exactly what it's supposed to be. Yeah. Abraham, man, that's what this speaks about. But he was telling his he congregation, he was telling his congregation to take it. And in the end, like, over 20 people dropping dead. Yeah. So who, who looks stupid? Who looks more stupid? Who, who looks more, uh, at, um, you know, more faith-based? And more, um, re more reliant on its truth, and who looks more reliant on trusting in the so-called, you know, the devil, man? Yeah. And yeah, the white man. The, the first you need to make the flesh his arm, like yeah. yeah, trusting in Esau's system, man. Because you trust you that go down to Egypt for help. Yeah. 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 Say a poor, poor man's wisdom is despised, you know, because they like, you look down upon us because we ain't flossing like you got, <laughs> you know. But we're ones with the truth. Yeah. We have the greatest of treasures, man. You don't, you ain't, you ain't got that. You, you, got, you got flashy garments and fucking armbands and shit. Yeah, Rap, you know, yeah. your fucking chains and shit. That's what you got. We don't need those things. So you can keep them. Yeah. You know, we got this truth, man. We're going to run with that. That's the real riches, anyway. The real riches, the real riches is having the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, man, in this entirety. Yeah. That's why the Lord said, hold fast till I come, man. Yeah. You guys, you got, you, got, you, got the, you got the outward appearance of being glorious and all that and having the, the so-called, you know, the wisdom right here, the yeah, appearance of righteousness. But inwardly, oh. you guys, you know, what man's bones. Yeah. 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 Ain't no different to one of these mega churches, man, because you've got yeah. the pastor in there with his thick suit, with the yeah. tie on, the Rolls Royce. Yeah, he rolls yeah. out in the Rolls Royce, you know. With the theatrics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You know. Yeah, it's entertainment, right? Because yeah. it brings them in. Yeah. Yeah. The, the, cadence, the cadences that they come out with, they yeah. do the same thing. Yeah. All these cadences, yeah. man, we just talk, we just, we just talk in the spirit, you know. But they have to they have to put that show on man to, to draw yeah. people in. Because yeah. they need some of this. Yeah. He needs that. I don't know if you brothers ever remember he had that one mega church pastor man and they put him on like, like, like the line and it made him fly through the congregation, oh, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <that's nice>. yeah. <laughs> Nate was like, okay, cool, pass over twenty twenty six, that's what I'm gonna do. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 This is why you do these things, right? Yeah. You, you uh, appeal to those of the world. You appeal to those in the world, man. Yeah. You know, you you, you appeal you appeal to wanna be rappers. Yeah. You appeal to yeah. people that wanna yeah, yeah. that wanna look dope and yeah. fly and like a superhero. That wanna wife. Huh? You appeal yeah, to people that wanna wife. You appeal to all these things. Yeah. Oh, women could do their fashion shows and shit. You yeah. know, we gotta party at the Passover. We're gonna do all these things. 
that's who you appeal to. People that have got worldly mentalities, man. Love the world. That's it. That's why they mingle the, the yeah. industry, the the, the, the the truth, try and mingle with the industries of the world, man. Mm. Music and all that. You got record labels. You do fashion shows. All this bullshit that's got nothing to do with this truth, man. Yeah. For you, bro. Yeah. Yeah, 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 basically. You know? yeah. And like I said, I feel this you're getting a lot of money and stuff, man. And you're not because you got money. That's not the that's not the point. Like we don't need shit. We don't need nobody's money. We don't need we only need yeah, how much of me I was shy in it. Right? And we keep this solid enough, man. That's right, we keep things simple. You know, there's no need for us to do all this extra stuff and, and the word uh uh um that's what I'm looking for, man. It it detracts from the word, man. Mm. You know, because everybody really just wants to come here because it looks fun. Yeah. You know, whereas with us, it's, there's, there's no fun to be had, really. <laughs> you know, you, but you are going to get what you need. Yeah, you know, food, man. That spiritual food that you know, you know bro, that's what you need, man. Because that leads to your salvation. But all that physical, the Lord said, man should not live by bread alone, man. But these guys, they want to live by bread alone, meaning they're carnal, man. They're not spiritual. They don't have no their faith. Is very little, man. Which means when the trying comes, they they're gonna they ain't gonna be prepared. You know, this whole process that boys have been going through for however long you've been in the shoot, man, is to get your mind right, man. Right to prepare yeah. yourself spiritually and mentally for the times that are coming, man. Because you know, we, there's nothing of our own so that we can do nothing, you know, anything about these things that are gonna happen. We rely completely on the Lord, right? But if you're out here fucking around, you don't even know what you're preparing for, man. You have no idea. You got Nate. To, there's no Jacob's trouble. So you think it's just it's a fucking theme park or some mm. shit, man? Yeah, that, that ain't nothing gonna happen to you. That you ain't gonna prepare yourself mentally because it ain't gonna be fucking easy, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're not watching. You're not watching. You're not doing nothing. You're just you're just interested in making extra money. You know whatever ventures you man are doing, but you're not preparing yourself, man. The the virgins with the with the, with the no oil. The, 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 the five foolish virgins, man. With no oil, they weren't prepared. They're not ready. Yeah, you know, watching, man. the adversities that we go through is to get us ready, man. Yeah. You know, Bird you up. That's why the Lord said, "Bird up your nights, man," so you don't make haste in the time of trouble. That's when really you're brought to a lower state. So that's why we're we're used to having living on the um, the low the low spectrum of the scale, so to speak. We're used to get catching the L's and you know not getting the best of everything <laughs> because we we know that we're going to be catching hell. Yeah. That's part of this truth. That's part of parcel of you saying you want to be a prophet in the Lord. Well, you better get ready to catch hell, man. You ain't gonna be lauded, lauded and loved and praised like these guys, these false, uh, you no know, false prophets out here, yeah. like these false pastors, because that's a fantasy, man. That's yeah, fantasy. Yeah, fame and attention, man. <laughs> You're gonna get the wrong type yeah, of attention, man. Hated, man. Also, are you when you were reviled and hated for the word, man, yeah. being persecuted and all that. Not, not, not being adored and loved. Like, when were they ever? When was that prophets ever loved in the scriptures, man? Okay. Most of the time, they were ch trying to chase them out of the cities, like Paul and all them, man. They were trying to chase them out of the cities, they were putting them in prison. Mm -hmm. They was whipping them, scourging them. You know, yeah. well, look what they did to the Lord Himself, man. Yeah, I was yeah. shy, man. He didn't do nothing wrong, man. He didn't commit no sins, and look at that—they totally tried to mutilate him, man. Yeah. Well, you know, yeah. they buffeted him, they slapped him, they spat on him, they whipped him. That's what, that's the mindset you gotta have when you come into this truth. You're gonna suffer, man. You ain't gonna be living in fucking pleasures, man. Have all the monies and dainties and all of that shit. Yeah, You're gonna be suffering, man. Nothing to this point. We haven't received the worst of it yet. Exactly. The worst is yet to come. That's why, it's, you know, in the time of Jacob's trouble, even even I said, there's things that we haven't gone through yet, man. That we don't know. No win. We given the strength to deal with it. Mm -hmm. No, but we don't know how it's gonna be. You know, yeah. what we're gonna go through personally and like. It, it, there's a certain amount of preparing that you can't really do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because right. you don't know. You never, you never experienced it. But you have to have some type of men mental that I'm going to know I'm going to go through some shit. Yeah. yeah. It's got to stay in the spirit, man. It's got to stay in the spirit. Man. If you ask the cars, two on one. Yeah. You can, you can. My son, if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation. Yeah, so when you come to serve the Lord, Know that you're going to start losing more than you gain. Mm -hmm. but with all that losing, you gain, you have a shy, man, right. which is the greatest yeah. gain you can get in this world, man. Like yeah. Paul said, he lost everything to gain, you have a shy. Right. That's the mindset you got to have, man. Because this world is, you know, the what this yeah. world is, yeah, it's temporal, man. Yeah, yeah. This place is going to get cut down very soon, man. 
they could pull his hardy schemes in his time. Pharisee of the Pharisees, right? Mm -hmm. You know, he was up there. Moses was was a prince of Egypt. There you go. But what did he do? He gave out everything, man. So to to serve Israel. To serve the Lord. Sacrificing. The name of the game is about sacrificing. But he could have he could have stayed yeah. comfortable in Egypt, he could have done that. Exactly. Who could have stayed in his in his nice off, you know, his old he nice position? Stayed in that? Pharisee. Yeah. He chose to serve the Lord after he got kicked off that high horse, man. Lord humbled him, you know, blinding him for a few days, and then he got his sight back, and then he went to do the Lord's work, man. That's what we go. The Lord comes, you know, when you come to serve the Lord, he has to humble you. So you're going to catch hell. He's going to bring you low, and then he's going to build you back up. I say, that's what the rest of the wicked spies and Pharisees want. They don't want to stay in their seats, man. Because mm. yeah, yeah. they, they didn't want to become uncomfortable. You know, but you, could, you have to, you're going to have to, man. That's right, living them. They don't want to suffer, man. Ooh. They want to live there. They want to have the luxuries. They want to have schools. They want to they want to save all Israel. Okay, you know, mm -hmm. black people and all that. They want to do the films. They want to do the films. They, they don't want to have the, studio. the music studios, the everything. They want to have all the accolades of the world. But then all of a sudden, still come to serve the Lord. The Lord said, you can't serve two masters, man. Make your fucking minds up, man. And it's obvious you made your mind up because you guys are always chasing that filthy lucre, man. Yeah, grabbing all the way to them. The Lord, you're not fooling no one but yourself. You're not fooling the Lord. The Lord sees what you're doing, man. And that, that time of judgment is coming, man. The Apostle Elder Gabbar always mentions it. First Peter 4 and 17. Judgment's going to begin at the house of Israel, man. Yeah. The day's going to come when a lot of you camps, man, you, you fools camps and you fools leaders, are going to start getting jacked the fuck up, man. Mm -hmm. And it's going to be there for the world to see. Just like Taz a black kid, man. The black comforter, the Lord jacked his ass up, man. Same thing's gonna happen to a lot of these camp leaders, man. It's falsifying and messing around with the Lord's word. That time's coming, man. Set thy heart alight and the constantly endure. Yes, yeah, set your mind all right. Be transformed with the renewing of your mind. Romans 12, man. Set your mind all right, man. But this take your take yourself out of this world, the mindset of this world, man. You know, don't rely on the things of this world. Because this the things of this world ain't gonna save you, man. The accolades, all this shit. The temple. It's all temple, it's not gonna deliver you. Mm -hmm. Riches, you know, catch your wings and yeah. fly off away. Post Paul speaks of the corruptible crown. Corruptible crown, yeah. No. yeah. Con consolation, man, mm -hmm. the consolation. Mm -hmm. You know, you, you don't really want that. You think you do. You think you want these things that the world has to offer, man, but you, what you really want. All you're going to find out is that the, the war from the Heavenly Father for, for serving and being faithful is greater, man. Yeah. You know, it's real. Yeah, the unseen, you know? man. Oh, you know? uh, things that you can't see. Make no haste in time of trouble. Yeah, make no haste in the time of trouble. And this is exactly what these guys are going to do, man. These guys, these guys don't know what the MOTB really is. They're going to make haste in the time of trouble because as soon as that pressure comes on them, man, the they're going to panic because they're not. They've not been settled in their mind yet. Yeah. Infirm, they, they, they infirm themselves. Oh, okay. You know? So the they're going to panic. Good. And they're going to, who are they going to run to, though? This one. They're going to run problem. to FEMA and all that. They're going to run yeah. to them camps and get chucked, chained up in there, thinking it's going to be to their salvation. You know? And he's all going to tell you, yeah, you, you want to survive. You better, you better put this yeah. in you. Yeah. And if you don't, you're going to put your head in the damn guillotine. Yeah. Uh, they, they that consent unto them shall be had in the rigid. You know? Yeah. If you ain't got that knowledge, man, yeah. how are you going to make the right decision? That's it. Because if I could say a lot of these camps, they try to push that doctrine of like, oh, but what if they force on you? What if they this? What if they oh, that? That's real. Yeah. <laughs> no, they didn't with you, it? It's just That's it. That's it. But it, it, it's yes, it will, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the haste in the trouble. That's the, the thing of are you gonna just fold as soon as Esau puts that pressure on you, you're gonna fold like a damn uh, a fucking uh, sheep, bed sheep, or are you gonna stand stiff, you know, and have faith. And that's what you're gonna come to find out that a lot of these camps, especially these, these mega church camps, they ain't got faith, man. They ain't got faith. They ain't got faith, so they're gonna fold, man. They're going to give up, man. They're going to be like, yeah, all right, you know, fuck it. You, you can't get to that point, yeah, and, and have doubt. Yeah. It's not going to work for you, man. It's not going to work, man. Well, you know, up. you have to be sure. We have to be sure. 
We have a more sure word of prophecy, man. We are sure. We're not going into this thing thinking, well, I don't, maybe. No, no, no. That's, no, no, no. that's why you're, gonna have to, you're literally going to have to cut our heads off because we're not going to vote, man. You're literally going to have to put our heads on the guillotine and cut our heads off because we're not going to take that shit, man. The elect are not going to take that shit, no matter what you devil do to them. Same that Yahweh said to Elijah. Right, um, I've reserved 7,000 men who have not bowed down the knee to Baal. Yeah, the are higher, man. And that's why we say with the hopeful elect, man, because the Lord, Lord willing, we, you know, the Lord gives us a spirit to resist, man, you know, to fight, to keep team to fight. Yeah. But at least we've been given this word to fight with, to put on the armor, you know, to do all these things. We can do that because we've been given the word. Yeah. You guys are coming out of fucking loose bits of armor, you know, chains yeah. in the chain, mail, yeah, all yeah, kinds yeah, of shit, man. Yeah, You're fucked, yeah. man. Sure the faith, man. Having a shield of faith. So that's part of the armor too, having that shield of faith. Right? It's, like, it's like David, man, when, when the soul, you know, gave David um, his armor, it was too big, don't fit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, just, it's, it's no pointless, it's pointless. Yeah, look, you, you know, people have not studied, man, so they, know, they don't know the fact that that is the ultimate end of the world. Like, you can't come out of that. Like, some of them are sat there thinking, oh, but maybe the Lord will still forgive me if yeah, I just... You can't make that mistake, yeah. man. Uh, that's you made that mistake, man. you fumbled, man. It's a cop-out. That's you wrong, man, man looking for an easy way out, man. Ain't going to be no easy way out. Well, well too much tribulation. Yeah. Shall enter into That's a testament to man. You made that stupid decision to speak. Oh, I'm just going to take it and the Lord will do it. help me. You got another thing coming. Mm -hmm. The Lord will always want to fuck around, around, man. They always want to fuck around. Sit, you man. can't fuck around with this, man. You guys don't fuck around when you come to Esau. You want to yeah. go to an interview or some shit. You ain't fucking around then. Yeah. You know, or whatever. You ain't doing that, man. You don't want to fuck around with the Lord, man. It's the story. worst person you want to do that with, man. Don't take you know? the Lord either. That's well, I want to take it and then pop it out. Yeah. Don't tempt the Lord, man. Take those days, man. The Lord will slaughter you, man. Sure. Even if it's that last second you try and pop yeah. it out, it's still in your flesh and the angel yeah, deceives you. That's it. That's it. Even well, how shy I said not to tempt the Lord, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, so... yeah, they may have the plan, but what, uh, they can have a knife on their side all the time yeah. and they're ready, but it's going to become like this food in Neo. It's <laughs> like a... Yeah. <laughs> that's it. That's it. But it shows that they're unlearned because you, you look at the examples of old wars, Eliezer, the old man, the second Maccabees, right? Where basically he was like, look, I'm not, they was like, look, man, look, just have this like clean meat, right? Make it look like, he was like, nah, I can't do that. You know? <laughs> exactly. exactly. Oh, it's okay to do it. Yeah. And, it, and, it, and it obviously he wasn't. And he wasn't going to be that, that, that bad example to them. He wasn't going to do that. You know? Our temptation's coming, man. Mm. That shit's coming. That, that's the ultimate test. And that's when we're going to see who the, the, the real boys, we're going to separate the boys from the men, man. All this talking, all this brash talk, all this good talk that these guys are talking. We're going to see, man. No? Yeah, all this never being a weak shoe and all that. We're going to see, man. When he saw presents that mandatory undertaking of the seat, man, we're going to see who's going to fold in that day, man. I guarantee it's not going to be the men of great millstone, man. Yeah. What was it to say? Thou fate in the day of adversity, yeah. like straight yeah, for small. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, do you, you act like you're, you're, you know, top dudes, innit? Yeah. But we're yeah. going to find that. We're going to find that because the test is, is, is waiting for everybody, man. The yeah, test yeah. is all. And we're going to find out. Everyone, literally everyone, on the face of this earth. You know? The only yeah. way you can survive that is if the Lord takes you out beforehand. Mm -hmm. Then you'll have to deal with the hour of temptation. If you have to deal with it, then. Just pray that the mm -hmm. Lord's with you, man, yeah. to make you resist unto death. Because the Lord said, he that resisteth unto death shall receive, receive a crown of life, man. Okay. He that is faithful unto death shall receive a crown. It's the same thing. Okay. I don't know uh, uh, if any of the other camps say this, but I know the apostles all the time say, know what you're involved in. Yeah, right? Yeah, you know? Exactly. You know, yeah. Because it's like... I was just saying because that, because that's one of the things. It's it's a thing of we're preparing our minds for what is to come, right? You know, uh, 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 are, you know, whether it's their children, their wife, their things. I look at, look, I ain't gonna, have, I may not have you, right? When that time comes, man, oh, right? Sacrifice. sacrifice, you know. But if you're in one of these happy time camps where it's like I got my wife in the truth, that's <laughs> <laughs> wife in the truth. We're going to find out. We're going to break down about that. Man. Oh, look at Job's wife. Yeah. <laughs> you, you know, it looks like. That's it. You know, the 
the pillar of stability, man. They act, they act like they are. You know what I'm saying? You're supposed to be that. That's the pillar it. of stability. Yeah. You know, that because you, for you to be stable, you need to know. Knowledge and wisdom, you sir. That, that's it. Yeah. You know, she's you know, your virtuous wife. Then she come back with the damn sea hip in her arm. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. And, and she told you she, she had to chip the kids too. And you're just standing there with your jaw open. Like that, guy in the, like that dude in the military. Yeah, when his wife yeah, told him yeah. she took the chip. He was like, what do you mean you took yeah, the chip? Yeah. And then she, he's, she's telling him that she's going to chip the kids too. And he's like, no, you're not. Yeah, like, yeah, how yeah. dare you type of thing, man. Yeah. But that's what these women are going to do, man, because these women are faithless, man. Mm-hmm. They're faithless creatures. They're the first that's going to run to them clinics, man. Yeah. The Apostle Paul says, um, friends cannot be known but in their birth. Yeah. And, like, a lot of these women before, like, they all fold, but you can't you can't trust these women. Like, let no, them man. a little bit of adversity come, and they'll be willing to literally, man, just, just lock it off with you. That's, what? Kind of and, and that's why, like, over 80% of all the divorces, and you shouldn't even get trying to, they're not in the season of marriages, and even Esau's marriage system is off anyway. But like eighty percent of, of divorces are initiated by women, and it's yeah. all over. The I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm not happy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not happy. I'm not happy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, football great. <laughs> yeah. As famous as you get. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They want drama, man. They want to find sight. They want to fuck them up. I'm trying to always go for the bad boys, man. Yeah. 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 She wants a life for the regrets. That's what she wants, man. She wants yeah. to go through that, that fucking cycle of yeah. destruction, man. Yeah. Yeah. The hot, the hot summer. Yeah. The hot summer. It, 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 that's, 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 that's that serpent's, <laughs> serpent's oh. beverage. Yeah, the forbidden fruit kind of thing, isn't it? You know, oh, yeah, you, you really want this. Because, you know, it's so convinced you want this type of thing, man. But what does it lead you? It leads you to destruction, man. You should just stay yeah. with your husband. That's wrong, man. You know? Yeah. And, 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 uh, yeah. And if you can make those bad decisions when times when it's good, they're gonna be making bad decisions when times are bad. <laughs> mm, yeah, 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 yeah. They're gonna take me. They're gonna rape me. Yeah, what did she do? She went out to close things down. Exactly. 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 Yeah. I know. I know. She's just gonna bug out and Yeah. A lot of these bitches don't lose their minds, man. You know? Like I could tell you, man, when it's equal nine and four, a lot of these women are going to be getting chucked the fuck yeah, up. Yeah, a lot of these women are too old to bear children anyway, in this, in this um, side as well. Like, they're all yeah, menopause and mm-hmm. <laughs> no children. But this is why it's a test for everybody on the earth, man. Right? But they, we know the most high, you know, with the elect, they're able to pass it, you know? Mm-hmm. While the rest of the world is going to be condemned by the decisions that they make in that time. You know, if I just want to read this quick. Yep. Revelation chapter 3, verse uh, verse 10. Because thou hast kept the word of my patience. Mm. Right? You've got to be patient. Because things don't happen you know, how we want it to happen. We want it to happen yeah. now. and You know, men want things to happen now. Right? But you have to wait. This, this, suffering, this, it? That, yeah. That's it. Right? And people don't want to suffer. They're impatient. Right? It says, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation. When the MOTB is being rolled out and that you've got that choice to make. Whether you're going to take it or not. Knowing in Revelations uh, uh, 14 what the, the, the judgment is for it. Yeah. Right? Yeah, and that's part of the first part of the thing. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, what's that? Oh, yeah. Uh, See that keeping my yeah, work. Yeah, yeah. yeah and that's, that's knowing part of the works, man. You know, about knowing what the MOT to the B is. That's why the Lord said, He that keeping my works until the end. So you got to know the whole truth, you know? You gotta know the entirety of the truth, and then you gotta live by that truth too. Have faith in it, man. Hold on, hold on to it, man. Don't let it go. Don't be mis- like, listen. Don't be listening to these other false preachers out here when they start mixing up the doctrine and changing things like the weather patterns and all that. Don't be listening to that, man. Yeah. Hold fast into the word, man. Then the Lord have what might have mercy upon you if yeah. you're doing what He said to do, man. Yeah. Don't be swindled by these these shysters, man. These these slick oil salesmen, man. That's what Nate and all these guys are. They slip oil salesmen, man. They know how to the market shit to you. They, they, you know, they know how to market mm-hmm. the, you know, their lies to you, to make money off you, man. 
merchandise of yeah. 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 Many shall follow the pernicious ways, man. Mm -hmm. So those that hold fast to the word, which is only a small number of men, and women too, because you know, there's women that's part of the elect that's going to be delivered, but it really starts with the men. They, they're going to be held back from the, the hour of temptation, meaning no matter what Esau tries to promote or push to them, they're not going to be swindled into taking that seat hit, man. Why? Because they know the truth. They know that the mark of the beast is to see it. Yeah, and they've been teaching it too. They haven't been hiding it, man. They haven't been putting their their, their um uh, napkin. napkin under yeah. um, you know hiding the truth under a rug, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was under a nap yeah. under a nap. Yeah. It was saying you had that that song uh in in the Christian church, but it's, it's on point. It's this little light of mine, we we'll let it shine, yeah. man. Yeah. yeah. That's the that's the talent that the Lord gave the servants to go out there and, and, and multiply, you know? I will also keep thee from the hour of temptation which shall come upon all the world. Right? All the world Everybody's yeah. going to get tested, man. Everyone. You know, but we've been equipped with, with the tools necessary to, to endure the hour of temptation, man. These people have got no hope. Yeah, <laughs> They've got nothing the out here, man. Here. These people out here, they're going to buckle. These lost souls. They're going to buckle because one day they're going to wake up. Oh, shit. The bags have crashed. Yeah. I can't return no money. Then they're going to start losing their mind. Oh, like the situation. Yeah. They have to go get the bank card because they block, they block man's car for some bullshit. Some, some, you know, some yeah. other shit that was going on. But then that's what's going to be happening on a worldwide yeah. scale. People are going to be losing their bank accounts and all of that. All of a sudden they had 10,000 oh. or 500. The one girl, she said, one guy, you know, does the questionnaires. He asked her, how much money? Some Edomite bitch. She asked, how much money you got in your account? Look on the phone. It's 500 grand. So how did you make that money, man? You know? <laughs> we know. <laughs> yeah. So one day you're going to wake up, it's going to go from 500 grand yep. to zero, man. Hey, sorry, but I, know, I know America has a similar thing. Over here, we have something for the FSCS, where basically, supposedly, your money is, is, uh, is safe up to 80,000 pounds per bank that you have. That's what they tell you, yeah. 75, say it's gone down now, you see it? But, it did. yeah. Ex exactly. The, the, the whole, and, and but that's, that's the lie and the promise that Esau gives to people to make them feel confident because once again, exactly. Because once again, that was the same thing that they said when the banks were collapsing in America just last year. Remember, that was just last year because this time last year, right? Uh, what they said was, what people don't seem to understand is if more banks all fail at the same time, there's no money left. Don't say that it was paying this money back. They borrowed other banks. Yeah. Bigger banks. That's how that's how it shows what they they just they kick it down the yeah. down the can, you know, the can down the road. Someone else has to pay kind of thing. But if there's no money, this was not debt anyway. All yeah. these banks are really solvent. Yeah. Right? So when it all goes down, where are you getting money from? Oh, yeah, yeah. It's sort of like one of the things um, they try. Oh yeah, you should put your money in. Um, ah, you should save money. No, not ice. Not that. Not that one. The other one. Um, for old people when you get old, pension. You put your money in a private pension and this, that, and the other, and then at the end of it, you'll be able to get it back, right? But what they're not telling you is the reason why they're pushing you on you is because you're effectively not going to touch that money for thirty years. So they've got your money for 30 years. You look at the National Lottery here in the UK, um, up until I think like a few years ago, that was actually can Canada's pension, Canada Teachers Union's pension. You see? So if it, yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Could be that. Yeah. How can how can I even print to cover all of that? That's it. That's it. We're not going to say what solution. Digital. Get the, we're going yeah. digital. Yeah. He's going digital, man. Yeah. They're going to tell you, right, you want some money? Yeah. Give you a two thousand yeah. loan or grant, grant yeah. for the first year. All you got to do is put this C hip in you and watch the line like flop. Like yeah, a yeah, 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 yeah. What are the CV lines? Yeah. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that stabbing job, man. But now most of those people are dropped dead in the sure. side effect, man. Yeah, they let 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 stop them quickly in there for a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because 
because they they basically um if, if I remember correctly they they after the mini budget the Bank of England had to bail out the pension fund right yeah yeah. yeah. All your pension, all that money, even what you do. Everything, Dave. There's so much thing going on earth right now, man. All these catastrophes and stuff, man. You're, you're going you're gonna to wake up and find yourself in a whole different world, man. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It could happen overnight, man. I'm telling you, those guys over in Dubai did not wake up thinking that there's going to be a deluge of water and the, the whole of Dubai was going to go from sand to waterworks overnight. <laughs> yeah, waterworks. Waterworks, <laughs> man. That shit is <laughs> underwater, man. Yeah. Billion worth, a billion dollars worth of damages, man. Oh. In 48 hours. Yeah. They didn't expect that, man. Right, they didn't have got the money, man. <laughs> yeah, they was all in the skyscrapers, guys, skiing and all that. No, not skiing, but, you know, going, you know, sand gliding, whatever sand the fuck you are. They was chilling. Man, all that shit turned into water, man. It turned into oh, river beds. Oh, you know, shit. people are fucked. It's living underwater, you know? Yeah, so they get rid of the situation. So anything can happen, man. Within a short space of time, the law can change its whole society, man, overnight. Yeah. It's going to happen, man, because this place is on its way out. They, um, when they should say peace, they say it's sudden. Sudden, sudden destruction, man. And it, you know, those are going to come as a few for the night. These things are just going to happen. You're like, when did it come from? Yeah. You don't know. All of a sudden. You know, yeah. Got you know? This is Sirach 10. 13 for pride is the beginning of sin and he that hath it shall pour out abomination and therefore the lord brought upon them strange calamities and overthrew them utterly mm. yeah. Yeah. 5 and 14 wherefore he says awake thou that sweepest and arise from the dead and your mashak shall give thee light yeah how you awake from the, from the dead by getting this, receiving this truth, which is the light, yeah. man, which is yeah. Yahweh Shai, yeah. incarnated, man, receiving this word, man, you know, in its entirety, and then going out and warning others of the, of the same same thing, man, you know, that's that's the light, man. So you got to be circumspect, which probably going to read. Like, mm -hmm. look, that means to look around. The Lord said to watch as well as pray, man. Yep. Uh, See then that ye walk, walk circumspect, not as fools. But as wise, oh, yes. Yes. Exactly. only a fool would say, oh, the MOT to the leaders in embargo and sin. You know, you listen to them, some leaders teaching them other zombies in the congregation. You know, because they're just, you know, in awe of the fucking leader. Instead of actually listening to the message, man. Because yeah, even when, when, you, when you look at a, a place like London, it's it, almost inconvenient to use cash. Yeah. Right? Yeah. You know, they're, they're, yeah. Yeah, all digital, all on the, on the phone or whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, your pa yeah, the passport. Oh man, I had to do some. I said I had to do some um uh, uh some some legal stuff, and it's uh it was like download the Gov UK. I don't care, so I download it, and it's like oh yeah, put your you know your 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 digital ID at the back of your phone. I was oh shit, right? It's really the the phone is reading your your digital ID. I was like, oh shit, what's going on? And it's like. Yeah, then it was like, now point your, you know, record a video of your face. I was, I was like, this is, this is a big thing. I was like, it was crazy. Yeah. 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 They're not, they're not um, self-aware in the sense that they make their own independent decision. No, they're oh, programmed they're by yeah. Esau yeah. to think like an Edomite. Yeah. <laughs> so you behave, they behave yeah. like Edomites. Man. Which is why they say the A motivation. They've got the, the laws on the table. To back that as well. So when it comes into play and people want to fight against it, they're going to be like, no, nah, because you've got the laws and legislation to, sh to show you that this is this is lawful now. This is legal tender. Right. The money that you have is not legal tender anymore. It's, 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 it's uh, invalid. Because remember, in martial law and things like that, they can change anything they want exactly. at the drop of a hat. And it, it don't need to go back to normal. It don't. No. It don't need to go back to normal, man. And so you just have to deal with the new reality. You know, what they, what they say in... Um, what are they saying around the, the CV, man? 
Because everyone's thinking it's going to go back to normal, isn't it? It's the new normal. It's being pushed. It's being pushed all the time. Things are changing, man. Now you have to get used yeah. to certain things now. You got, yeah. There were no option. These these are, these are these old people that don't like using all this technology. They ain't got no fucking yeah. choice. You don't really care. I know you got certain groups that are, you know, working with them, trying to help them and that kind of stuff to not get these things put in place. But who really cares? Nobody really cares, man. This technology is coming, but they like it or not. They either get on board with it or they don't. You get left. There's simple, there's no, no options, man. They're not waiting for you, man. They don't, they don't care about you. Yeah. You know, this is going to happen. Yeah, it's part of their enterprise. Yeah. the time because the days are evil. Evil yeah. means bad times, man. Redeeming the times, man. And so the good old days world, have gone. Yeah, you can't say this world is in a good place, man. No, good no, old days no. gone. There's no one stuck going on. You can't say this world is, is, is good at all. Yeah, man. These people are totally gone. And the mind is so corrupt. You know? They've lost it, man. They've lost their scruples, their morals. You know, it's just the more wicked you are, the more proliferated you get in society. Yeah. You've got yeah, Chinese yeah. getting more rights and, and all these different things than the average citizens, man. But this place has shown you that this place is on its way out. You saw us, um, you know, pushing that more demonic energy, you know, fucking with CERN and all these different things. So he's trying to push that more, you know, demonicisms on the on the on the, on the world and the citizens. Yeah. So everyone's just out. The, the levels of wickedness is just is just over the top, man. It's just over the top. So people are gonna be, and, and people are gonna turn into savages in the mm -hmm. time of Jacob's trouble, man. They're really gonna show their true colors, yeah. you know, for you know, in this world yeah. when all hell breaks. Yeah. yeah. Civilized yeah. to uncivilized, real quick. Yeah. yeah. That's why they're trying to use that civil war and yeah. that bodies piling up in the street. It's going to get that guy. It's going to get bloody yeah. that. Yeah. You're going to lose their fucking minds, man. Yeah. And then, you're going to get bloody. Uh, what song? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Can't, can't. They were showing you the rifle and, um, um, the behemoth. Yeah. 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 Which is basically a foreshadowing of what's the compass in that in that in that in that movie, man. They were basically showing like when what happens when the beasts take over. And when when the when the land of landmass of America and itself gets destroyed, man, there's <laughs> not not gonna be nothing but creeping things and fucking um docile creatures living there, man. The whole earth is gonna go into a state where pretty much the, like the la large masses of people, man, are gonna be extinct, man. Taking off. A lot of people are gonna die. die. A lot of people are going, and that, and once again, that that is something that we are forced to come and understand in in Great Millstone. It's like, look, man, once again, hey, your mums, you love your mums, age. Hey, be honest, she may yeah. not make it. I'm saying these things, man. Yeah, yeah. saying the Lord's going to be many, yeah. man. And if, if they ain't with the Lord, yeah, they don't believe in the Lord, yeah. then you know what's going to happen. Man. Yeah, you, you know? know, it's just it is what it is, man. They'll come back in the kingdom. I see. You know, we we'll, we'll start again, innit? <laughs> yeah. You know, but on this side of things, man, what can we do? The Lord doesn't want to, you know, have them receive the shoot, man. Just, yeah. You know, you can't concentrate on your job, man. Yeah. Yeah. You know? yeah. That's it. That's it. On, on the money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's it. Yeah. Exactly. If they, exactly, 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 exactly. You know, be, you know uh, hey, but, you know, at the end of the day, that's why once again, I'm, you know, very, I'm speak for myself, very grateful for the CV because it helped really just see as a, as a foreshadowing of what family members are going to do in that time. You know, I told, I told, told my nan, told my mum, don't take that shit. Oh, I'm making up excuses. Oh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. And, and and there are people that got injured by that poison, which when the MOTB gets pushed, they're gonna take that one. <laughs> like they, that's it. That's it. It's a lesson that that these things our people should have learned a long time ago. That's a long, long time ago. Yeah, that's, yeah, right. Okay, yeah. that's right, man. And they, they just don't seem to get it. They they truly think Esau's a, a changed individual, man. Oh, but he yeah. truly is just a Can demon, I, can man. I, yeah. Inspired by the wicked yeah. way. The same ones he was running to for help. 
are the ones that are trying to destroy you, depopulate you, right? Yeah. They kill you and your True. family, man. Yeah. You know, to turn you into cyborgs and uh, yeah. digital slaves, man. Yeah. Yeah. It's all been conspired, man. It's all wicked mischiefs, man. Yeah. They're doing behind closed doors. Yeah. They need to turn you into this. Yeah. 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 Can I get the one you quoted and read verse 11 as well? It's Surah 12, 10 and 11. Says, never trust thine enemy, for like his iron rusted, so is his wickedness. Throughout history, he's always done the same type of shit, man. Yep. He's the master manipulator, man. That's why he's not to be trusted. The only thing he tells you is basically, you got to take it with a pinch of salt. Look at them Palestinians, man. They made yeah, deals with this yeah, devil yeah. going back to the 1900s, man. And what was he doing? Nothing but slaughtering them, man. Since the early 1900s, since 1917, he's been slaughtering them. Them Palestinians and Arabs in that land, man, trying to get that land. But he made deals with them and said, Yeah, you can go into the land. And so that's why you're never supposed to trust this devil, man. He's a fucking habitual liar. That's why guys like Boris will come on the screen and say, Yeah, you the EU and all this. Mm -hmm. It's good for us. And then years later, you know, you go back, you'll bite back on his words, man, acting like he never said what he said. Act like he never, you know, you know sanctioned yeah. all this BS. That fucked up the economy and all that, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. They all do the same shit. They're conspiring liars. They're habitual liars, man. Yeah, they're like victims. Man. Yeah. yeah. When they get caught out there and all that. All that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 What would we do? Yeah, what would you do? Yeah. Take action. Yeah, of course you fucking would. Exactly. It wouldn't. Taking action. And killing no one in the process. And killing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 Yeah, that's it, man. Yeah. Yeah. You also know that he's done that for that That's it. You already know when he's trying to advise our people to go and be the first to go and take yeah. the sea hip or yeah. take the scabbard job. You know that fuck no one, Yeah. Yeah, we'll talk. Yeah. And, 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 and it's, it's the first time as well, because you know how the, the MLTB is going to be implemented, how are they going to put it I'm, in you, I'm right? Charging. Well, I mean, like, if, you know, get it in you, right? Because yeah, yeah. the same with the thing, they, they have to punch yeah, you, right? Yeah, they yeah, have to yeah. your skin to, to put that shit in you, right? Yeah. So now they, they pass that barrier. <laughs> they pass that barrier of putting something in you, right? So when they, when this MLTB comes, man, it's going to seem like another day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's going to seem like another day. Just yeah. Tech. yeah, just whatever. Yeah. We, you know, we had this for stuff. We didn't know what that was either. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So you're just going to do it because you need to, man. And you, and you just, you think the, yeah. yeah or, but you think that like, the alternative is worse. Just like the CV was yeah. not taking it was going to be worse than taking it. And Which was a lie. Excuses you make to yourself, obviously. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. To convince yourself that you should go do this. Yeah. He's a vast celebrity. says, though he humble himself and go crouching, yeah, take good heed and beware of him. And you don't come with soft, comely words, man. He's gonna come like a savior. You're gonna come like yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but he did that though. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he's still got a lot to say for that. Yeah. <laughs> the devil will never come to you with the horns and the horns and all that shit. The spear and the horns. He won't come to you like that with the red horns. He'll come to you in the suit and tie. Speak very calmly to you. Very cunning, you know? Like yeah. I told you in Genesis, man, the beast was more subtle mm -hmm. than any, you know, the... Um, the, um, the serpent was more subtle. That word, you know, cunning was crossed. Mm. Very okay. crafty, man. Slick. So, you know, all my slick stuff. Go ahead, huh? Let's quick one. Second Corinthians chapter 11, verse 12. And no marvel for Satan himself is transformed into an angel of light. There you go. There is no great, therefore, it is no great thing if his ministers also be transformed as the, as the ministers of righteousness, whose end shall be according to their works. You know, it's just a fake, they're faking the funk, man. Yeah. Playing, right. at, playing that role, because they're just fucking actors, man, all of them. Yeah, that's Pretending. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, 
Yeah, yeah, yeah, just playing a role. It's for you to not fall for that, you know, that tail in the pipe, man. So as your wizard shall be just living in that time, man. These yeah. the, the scripts are need to know. Yeah. It's going to protect you in, in these times, man. Yeah. Right? If you haven't got this, man, you're defenseless. You're, you're, you're subject to the wiles of the devil, man. That's why when Elon Musk first announced that he started putting brain C hips in people's heads, brothers was like on the comic board saying, yeah, see, mark of the beast. Mm. Brothers knew straight away. It wasn't like no, no confusion and all that. It was like, no, that's the mark of the beast right there. That's exactly what the scriptures are talking about. The brain C hip. All that's going to happen. Put in your hand. All that's going to happen is going to be fine tuned yeah. to do a particular job. Because it's, it's, it's programmable matter, isn't it? <laughs> you just program it to do what you want it to do. That's the whole you point. You do. The thing is that we know because wisdom and knowledge should be the stability of that times are studied. So we know that that's talking exactly what that scripture is talking about. Yeah. Not like the certain other guys, Nate and all them, that's thinking it's an embargo or sin. So they'll see that and think, no, that's not that's not the C-Hip. Like, that is the C-Hip. What are you talking about? What else could it be? Blind leaders are blind, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Walsh, I'll follow to the oh. yeah. Up. Up. yeah, yeah. So right, 12, 11 says, though he humble himself and go crouching, Yet take good heed and beware of him, and thou shalt be unto him as if thou hast wiped a looking glass, and thou shalt know that his rust hath not been altogether wiped away. Get rid of that glass, yeah. yeah. Looking glass is, is a metal mirror. That's, that's what it was back in the day, right? Yeah, yeah. And so yeah. if it had rust and you polished it off, guess what? It can return. <laughs> it's not going to go away, man. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Yeah. 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 He's the evilest of them all. And even a bird laughed. <laughs> 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 Last days, man. That's why it says warranty that go around to Egypt for help. Yep. That's a lot of Jake. Jake's gonna mm. go down to Egypt for help when all hell breaks loose, man. But that's gonna be to their, their loss because yep. they, they don't understand their food. They're falling into that snare. But ultimately, it's the Lord that put them in that snare anyway because the Lord said he, the two thirds, he doesn't even want to, he's not going to deliver you in these last mm. days. Two thirds, they're going to be out here, you know, just basically surviving, the, surviving for themselves. Yeah. yeah. So they get destroyed, man. Oh, only by the nuclear missile. People like people ain't got no faith anyway, man. So they're just yeah. gonna go off their base instincts, man, and do what they feel is best at the time. Yeah, you know, whatever that means. <laughs> but the man of the law, we are gonna be, we gonna reserve our minds, man. So be sober minded, man. Mm -hmm. We gonna be, gonna be maintained, man. You know, just keep, stay spiritual, man, and watch the Lord, Lord do His handiwork, man. Yeah. Sick. Sick, man. I don't know what the time is. Do you talk? Uh, Revelation 10, 3 and 10. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Revelation 3 and 10. Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I will also keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world, to try them, to test them, that dwell upon the earth. So it's the ultimate test, man. But that's a test you do not want to fail. That's not something that you can just make a mistake and be like, oh, sorry, Lord. There ain't no sorry after that. Yeah. The angels ain't going to hear no salakias, man. This is one of these ones where you got to do 100%. <laughs> 90% ain't going to make it, man. Yeah. You have a, yeah, yeah. You, if you take that chip, that's that's it. You're done. Yeah, you the know? Mock, the mock test was the CV, like the one yeah, yeah, yeah. the mock Ooh. test was CV19. But the actual real test is the MOT to the beat. Mark yeah. for the beat. Yeah. So it's a simple yes and no kind of kind of test. That's it. <laughs> it's simple, really. That's but it. it's going to be the biggest yes and no question you've ever had to ask in your life, man. Yeah, life and death. You know? It says, uh, Behold, I come quickly. Hold that fast which thou hast. That no man take thy crown. We're at the last yeah. moments, man. Yeah. You don't want to lose it right at the end. That's gonna be a, a great shame on anybody that you know it's just, that's supposed to be in this truth. Yeah, that's why you got a lot of guys bugging out right now. And we're at the last hurdles, man. Yeah. We're at the last couple of hurdles. You can see the finish it's line. Straight. Yeah. And you got guys even in great most of bugging out, man. It's a shame, but you know that yeah. just means that not every brother you see is part of the elect. It's a really a small sanctuary, very small, man. Twelve thousand out of beat tribe is a small number. Compared to the the oh. numeral about sands of the sea of Jake, that's across the first face of the earth. Yep. Even over there in America, it's a small number that's going to be the living. Out of yeah. those millions, man. But that's just, you know, it's coming down to the to the, to the crunch. Like I'm the one the body is going to sit down. Crunch time, man. It's coming down to the crunch, man. You know? 
you got you got to stay circumspect, man. You got to be sober minded. Don't don't lose your don't lose yourself, man. You know, don't yep. lose this truth. Hold fast to it, man. Hold fast to that crown. No, it's a fight. That's what this whole thing's about: mm. fighting for fighting the truth, the good fight of faith. Or fight to the end, man. A prudent man foresees the evil and hides himself, but the sinful pass on and are punished. So we, we've known as the prudent, right? But for those that don't want to pay attention, of course they're going to get caught up in all of it, you know? That's a wild spot. It's a dangerous game we're playing, man. That's why it's, you know, certain leaders out here, you know, they've they got a lot of blood in their hands, but they don't have to answer for that. But if you're part of the Lord's elect, man, just, just pray, stay humble, and, you know, keep doing this work, keep laboring, labor of love. Hopefully, pray for the Lord's mercies as well. Sure. Pray for the Akim as well, you know what I'm saying? The Lord's will be out of here soon, man. Mm -hmm. You see, everything's moving so fast now. Yeah. So I was saying, from January, up until now, hey, so much things have yeah. happened, man. There's more to come. Yeah. That's why people are thinking World War III is going to happen already because all these strikes that are happening between mm -hmm. Iran and all that. But it's just showing you that time is speeding up now. The Lord's speeding things up. And even when, it, when it, even more so when the mark of the beast comes, like Apostle's been saying, when that comes, Literally. that shit's going to accelerate like fucking a freight train with no brakes, man. It's yeah. going to be so quick. It's going to be like, shit, damn, missiles are coming already. It's going to be that quick, man. The Lord's not playing out here. So we could be even out of here in 2024. Who knows, man? Towards the end of the year. Political year and all that. After November. Who knows, man? Because things are just happening so fast. We're not even in the halfway through the year yet. In April, man, shit is just popping up. So keep your eyes on the prize, man. Keep watching as well as praying. You know, stay, stay strong, I think, man. That's all you can say. Close out. Yeah, man. Hey. <clears throat> Giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh. Oh, Hashem, Yahweh, yeah, Shai, yeah. Hashem, Kar Kadash. Double orders. Shalom, 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 shalom.